Yo. Ooh. Yo. <laughs> I gotta pee. Go ahead, pee then. How's everyone? Just waiting for the goblin to come back. Murphy, come back! Here. Sorry. <laughs> I, I had to pee real bad. Hey, listen, you 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 pee when you gotta pee. Right? Right? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Um, I was just wondering, like, with all the stuff we're going to talk about today, do people really understand what conflict of interest is? No. You just ask so. the question at do people understand? Like, do some people I don't think that some people understand what um, conflict of interest is, despite being educated about it several times by me in the past. Yeah, well, you're a woman, Manya, and you're, you know, <laughs> not American, so fuck you in particular. Oh yeah, can they hear us? Katina saying, hmm, isn't there usually audio with the flames? There's no audio? Katina? What? There's audio. It's going out. Oh, whoops. It restarted. Ah! Hello. Welcome back to Dumb Back Friday. Dumb Back Friday. Dumb Back Friday. Dumb Back Friday. It's going to be fun. Hmm. Yo, what up? Yo, what's up, everyone? Yo, <laughs> having fun? Did you guys have fun yesterday? Bruh, <laughs> bruh, <laughs> bruh. Oh, oh my god, there, there's just no words. There's no words for this. We are live, by the way. Hi, we're live. We're live on Twitch and we're live on YouTube. So, congratulations. Dumbback Friday is on Twitch and it's uh, on Twitch on purpose this time. <laughs> we did that last time by accident. Whoopsie! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My bad. But we're here on purpose this time, and we've got chat. We've got we got double chats. Hell Ooh, yeah! Beautiful. Oh, so that's on Twitter. Twitch, right? The double chat. No, both of them are available. You'll be able to oh. see both of them. Oh my god! Oh, my that's little beer so cozy, cool. isn't it cute? Oh yeah, that's cute. That's cute. I got a plaid, like, lumberjack beer cozy, and I'm drinking a beer that's got a beaver on it. This is the most Canadian shit ever. Oh, that's hard for Canadian All I need right is a there. toque. I need, like, a proper, a proper toque. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let Bruh. Like, get a little cold. We want <laughs> Or less warm. So... Okay, alright, alright. <laughs> do you, do you want to start... Me? Do you want to? Yeah. Okay. Do you do you want to start? Do you want me to start? You want to give people the lowdown of like what's been going on, what we've been talking about in the past couple of days? I think that days? you should give a lowdown. You should give yeah. a lowdown, set the tone of the whole thing, and we'll take it from there. Because if I start, I'm just gonna be all over the place because of the bullshit that's been happening. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, you like my hair? Thanks. So I I learned the other day that apparently my hair is the worst thing ever, and I'm the biggest bitch you've ever seen in your life, and I'm like cool. <laughs> Cool. Cool. That's exactly where that's exactly where I want to be. All right. Um. So, so long. Let's TLDR this. TLDR. Um. There's uh this this Katie Joy lady that people don't like for valid reason or invalid reason. Sure, whatever. Hello, Mr. <laughs> Garbage Man. Have you come to Why take now? the garbage away? I you know. I mean, I would appreciate that the garbage man is taking the garbage away. Please get this garbage out of my face. Out of my out of my face. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna fix that real quick. It, don't mind my pajama bottoms. <laughs> I don't think that so anyone will ever mind your pajama bottoms. I'm, uh -uh. I'm a professional. Okay. So <laughs> how do how do we how do we explain this? 
Um, there's been so, like a, there's been a, an anti Katie Joy community for a very long time, which is okay, oh, yes. fine, whatever. And people yeah. like to call her out on bullshit. Okay, fine, whatever. But what's kind of been happening is there's been like schisms in this group that have just resulted in like 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 just escalation, escalation, escalation to the point where yeah. creators are are shitting and screaming and like losing their going ballistic and shutting down and threatening and getting lawsuits against like people in their chat. And like it's just it's 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 escalated to a point that's ridiculous. And there's one thing one thing that I've noticed that um, is really consistent is that everybody keeps saying the same thing. This has gone too far and it needs to stop. So we're gonna have a little bit of a discussion today as I guess outsiders at this point to say like, okay, let's look at this kind of community or this 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 parasocial toxic clusterfuck and be like, oh, all right, if, if you get stuck in this drama cycle, how do you get out of it? But we're also gonna talk yeah. about like some of the some of the details and a little bit about what what's gone on. Um, I made uh, somebody made a claim. It was Steve. He said he was swatted. He was not swatted. And in response, <laughs> that was uh, all I said was that he wasn't swatted. And these and people just, just exploded. escalated. The, like I said something here, and they were like way up here. And it's it looks like oh, in, dare it. in contrast, it looks very very ridiculous. It does, and um, kind of makes you makes them look guilty, if I might say. And when you're on YouTube, perception does matter sometimes, because it's related with your um, oh you yeah, know, uh, your your how your, your prostitute ring. Oh, I mean, oh, yeah, your, the PR. <laughs> yes, public oh, relations. Yeah, the PR. Is it prostitute ring or PR? Well, uh, public relations. Um, I don't know. I've, I've, I don't know. I'm really yeah. confused about what those things are. Yeah, um, we are women. We don't know anything. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's like things happen. Things have happened with me also um, where I felt scared. I have. Um, you know, I have, have had trolls come after me, and but I yeah. have never gone. Maybe because I'm in New Zealand, I'm not in America. Maybe that's why I look for a different route altogether rather than going this way. You know, straining on a similar road. Way. You mean? Yeah, maybe. Sure. Yeah, maybe. How many, Moni? Do you know how many restraining orders we're up to at this point? So like, Steve's original one, one that he got. Steve. The Katie Joy one, that's one. Yeah. Way, uh, way Charla back. Charla's got one. Charla's Charla got has one. one. Against Steve. Against Charla's Steve. got one against Steve. There's uh, Aaron versus, there's Charla versus Aaron. There's Veda's that got immediately dismissed. Um, and that's two. Mm -hmm. That's two. Because she's, she went for Charla and for Katie. Uh-huh. So we're at five. Then and... there's Steve going for Charla. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> And then there's Veda saying that what had she says must... that Aaron was also going to go after Sharla. So that's seven. Seven. Fuck my life. How much is that Sharla lady paying her lawyers? I'm just the financial burden these guys. It it almost looks like to me that these guys are trying to bleed that lady out because lawyers are fucking expensive, man. Yeah, it's not. That's not untrue. Lawyers are definitely pricey. Um, yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, coming back to like, I've also like been in similar situations, but I have, I've not taken it online and like blasted it. Like maybe the racism I fa uh, like I've faced online publicly and the you know um, the alcoholism claims and stuff about me. Yeah, we have confronted, sure. but we did that once and we moved on, and then we just made a joke out of it, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But for some reason, the group we are talking about today, I'll name the group. Is it okay? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Yeah, go yeah. This we're is not, we're not shying away from saying people's names. <laughs> like, it's... What are we, we, we're we trying to dodge legal though. ramifications by giving them yeah. goofy nicknames? We're not the ones with um, TROs <laughs> against us, so yeah. Um, yeah, Intrigue P line is right from the live chat. Uh, what a waste of judicial effort and expenditure. It is clogging up the system. Yes, especially after COVID, post COVID, there's a big backlog in the, um, you know, among the coasts and quotes, and you're adding more to it. Um, so, where was I? <laughs> 
uh, well, taking the names you of took the a different people, right? road and the names of the people that we're talking about and what they. So we're talking of. about Steve, um, Aaron, Nikki, and Veda. Steve, Aaron, Nikki, Veda, and they've got like a handful yeah. of like other mo- people like people that are involved in that. But I don't think we need to focus on anybody who's not. No, well, there's no, no. reason to talk. They're not the ones who's not the arrows or arrows. Well, there's not even any point in really talking about anybody who doesn't make content, right? Like if you're not making exactly. content, yes. there's not really a whole lot to to, yes. to digest or to any- say. Yeah. As well as like so, then there's the, so there's that group of people. Then there's Sharla, and then there's Katie. And I don't think we need to talk about Katie that much because it's like what? No, because it's not about her at this point. It's not about her. We know her. We know her. We know her tactics. We know everything. We know she is full of shit most of the time. We know that. Right. We know that she is vindictive. We know that. We all we know all that. The thing is that we don't expect the same type of behavior from the crowd that I mentioned. We, well, because I expected them to be more reasonable out. and more practical about this. Sure, that's what why we are going to focus on them because they present themselves as a pinnacle and epitome of like how, you know, one should behave in a particular community, focusing hyper focusing on a com- particular person. You know what I mean? Um, right. So that's why because when who's going to like at what po- point are you going to? you know do some introspection and decide okay i think we have gone too far i think we have crossed the line what should we okay why did we do that how did it end, we end up there and what should we do about it now and is it really worth it to go any further you know what i mean so it feels like describing a soap opera plot random yes it does it feels like a soap opera i heard people describe it as a rick and morty episode it's yeah oh that was fantastic that was fantastic it's uh, so here's the thing right so i I, if you've been following the channel we talked about this a a couple days if you've been watching on twitch you've seen it live where we've gone through and watched the response to my video saying it's not swatting um and then we there's one more if you're following on youtube you're one video behind so on monday you're gonna get your last your last video on that and we're gonna drop the subject i have part of that video like chesh talks about me too so go and watch that and yeah, there's actually a lot in that video, um, but the thing is, is like we're we're gonna we're gonna drop the topic there because there's nothing more to discuss. Like we kind of just did this as a guffaw. This was like amusing. It yeah, was, it was funny. like, oh, okay, what the hell? It's not <laughs> like, um, right. And unless they're going to provide something substantive, like if like something that's like we can we can actually work with and and like okay, like let's take a look at it. There's it's just a joke. It's just a fucking. It's just a joke. All we have. Yeah, and it's a, and it's a little disappointing because all we have got till now, starting from way off in August or something like there, is speculation about coincidences. That's it. That's right. all we have got, and that's very dangerous, especially if you want to go. If you're trying, if you if you want to go, I thought with the um, the defamation lawsuit of Katie Joy not going through because of financial reasons would have taught these people that they should not take these things likely especially in financial terms it's been but they years have, they're repeating the same mistake again i don't understand why it's also been years of them like they're still bringing up this nat lady and for anybody who's out of the loop on that is she is a mentally ill woman who is not supposed to be on the internet without a guardian and mm-hmm. ha- like has like has like a, a list of like disorders and I did a video a long time ago, back when this person, excuse me, was was coming around, and I was like, mm. "This you you cannot use this person's statements as anything because well, they cannot yes. be validated. They can't be independently decided. They can't be trusted. You can't trust can't, anything. Yeah. So so you can't use this for your argument." Or against your argument, it, she's not she's not valid I, in this space, and so like the the fact that it's been years and they are st- people who at that time when I made that video agreed with me, people who are like yeah. Steve saying, "Hey, people shouldn't talk to flat Earth Ozzy Jesus anymore because you're taking advantage of a mentally ill person." are out here taking advantage of a mentally ill person. I can't believe that worked for anybody who didn't recognize that, like who heard that sound. That it did that did that sound go through for you? Yeah. yeah. That was uh, that was a su- subscriber sound from uh, YouTube and from Twitch. It actually went through. Yeah. yeah 
Yay! Oh, oh, it's gonna, sorry, it's gonna go off a bunch. There's a shitload of bots. So, uh, uh -oh. you, you, it's gonna uh -oh. be a little loud for a minute. It, it's just ignore that. Who the fuck is, you, like, okay, either they are not, either they have gone to some, like, cheap-ass free website to get these done because these bots are not effective at all, or they have wasted their money. <laughs> people want to people want to waste their fucking money. They can go ahead and waste their goddamn yeah. money. I don't give a shit. That's not my problem. So yeah. So, but <laughs> they have no. But for some reason, when we moved out of that side of the community, if I might be, it doesn't make yeah. Away. It doesn't make Nat an invalid person. It just means yeah. Citing her, her in any capacity yeah. at all, like Cannot even to say that oh that person's Nat or that person's Nat is like completely invalid. It's an invalid statement. And people trying to use. No, I'm, I don't know if they're trying to use or what, but to bring Nat in, in any capacity, okay, you're getting emails. All right, you're getting emails from someone claiming to be Nat. Fucking ignore them. You gotta ignore them because you don't know whether it's Nat or a troll taking your advantage. And also, if you're speculating about someone in your live chat to be Nat, that's unfair towards your audience because now they're going to be on edge. Oh, we need to talk about that. So, okay, so what we're trying to do here today is, as much as there's a lot to cover, and if you're not caught up, you're gonna struggle to follow along a little bit, we're, we're not gonna, we're gonna go through some of the nitty gritty details, but for the most part, we're gonna be talking about this collectively, because we've been talking about this, I did three videos, we're in, like, looking at the responses and had a laugh, but is there something in what's gone on that we can take out of this? Can we learn something? from this scenario yeah. can we can is there anything that we can do to learn to make sure that like us like how do you and as well how do you talk about these kinds of scenarios without becoming that scenario right because like mm -hmm. i mean i've talked about this but i haven't gotten dragged into their shit <laughs> like <laughs> so how do you do that how do you talk about like katie joy or how do you talk about steve or it doesn't have to be them it could be some other community that you're finding the same problem how do you talk about these issues without getting dragged into just bullshit exactly um yeah because there's a way to do these things and i and steve and party could have done this another way trust me oh yes. there are other ways to do it they could have still addressed the situation whatever it was they could have still oh, addressed yeah. the situation whether they were right or wrong whatever they could have handled it very differently and come up with um, a very different outcome so what is the difference um the first thing is don't go in other people's facebook groups and try to tell them what to do with their facebook groups. Follow the rules that they are. Whoa! <laughs> <Not thunder. laughs> so yeah, so don't go in other people's Facebook groups or groups and tell them what to do. Follow their rules. You're not an authority on anything. Don't consider your authority on anything. The first things first. Take a humble pill and sit down. <laughs> All right. And if someone's telling you this is not allowed on this page stop like consent matters right consent matters so 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 listen to when someone's saying don't do this i am the admin please don't do this and if you accidentally did do it stop apologize and then go on your merry well, way that's because of that how all this started right all of this yeah. is over a disagreement about how to run a facebook group that didn't mm -hmm. even belong to those people exactly you're going to court and it's like, it's beyond that. So at this point, right, we know that, sh we know for a fact that Sharla has mm -hmm. a restraining order against Steve. Steve oh, yeah. has continued to talk about her. Thus, there is a likely chance, it's, it's, it's likely that Steve is in violation of that restraining order. There Holy are consequences boy. to that. Would you like to know what some of those consequences are? Please enlighten everyone. Maybe Steve's also watching this or listening to this. Listen, Steve, we, whatever shit you put us through and what are you, whatever you have, like, you know, accused us of, we are, we are still trying to help you here. Maybe we might laugh at you while as we go, but it's time to take a humble pill and sit down. Sit the fuck down and listen. <laughs> I mean, quite frankly, I'm not, I'm not trying to help him. I just, there are... There are answers to these questions, right? There, it, it's not about Steve. 
It's not the no, it's talking not. about the swatting thing isn't about Steve. It's because people make false claims on the internet all the fucking time. And Crying what do we do? Evil. Right, exactly. So if I go here, I can I can show you a real quick like a boonie. Look at that. Oh, what, what is it? Let's see, Kansas. And we know it's Kansas because they blasted fucking Charla's information all over the place. So we know that we can in look at the, the middle Kansas, of the country. The Kansas Penal Code. According to Kansas Code, paragraph 21 3843, violation of a protective order, which is a restraining order, any subsequent violation, so if there's more than one that likely get grouped together, of a court order is a class A person misdemeanor. This may result in sentencing of up to one year in county jail and the payment of a county decided jail. fine, according to Kansas. If you look at California, uh, California has Penal Code 273.6 that says any in any intentional and knowing violation of a protective order is a misdemeanor crime pub uh, punishable by up to one year in county jail and a fine up to a thousand dollars or both jail and a fine. So when these people come out here and they're like, you're not taking this seriously, this is really serious, blah 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 blah, but you're out here like, for all intents yeah. and purposes, violating a protective order, there are serious consequences to that. Why do people think that for some reason, um, that whatever happens online in today's day and age cannot be translated to courts? We have seen so many things, so many defamation cases that, are, you know, bigger, massive, more massive YouTubers have, like, pursued. Um, take um, H3H3 H3 podcast for, for, for a second. Yeah. Oh, they yeah. had the means and the they had the means and, and the finance to do it and they did it. So whatever's happening here on YouTube and internet will is getting translated. It's just a little slow at the moment because um, systems are old, they're getting updated, technology is getting updated. Your judges are also getting used to the these you know new platforms and how they work. So it's going to take some time, but it will catch up because a new generation of lawyers and um, litigators are coming in who know how this shit works. Yeah. And they're happy to teach the older generation of lawyers and litigators and the future generation. So for you to think that it's not going to affect your real life in any way is very is a, is a very big mistake to make or a, yeah. a very bad assumption to make. Please. There's but a reason why I used to say that don't go real life. We don't need to go real life. Well, and the thing is... is I, all, go ahead. I've always said that. Yeah. So, yeah, like, um, people have tried to say that I did go real life, but we know how and like, what stupid those, like, statements were and what, what the issues were. But, yeah, I've always maintained, don't comment on someone's mental well-being and health. Don't mention their looks. And don't take it real life. Whether they're a good mother, bad mother, okay, you want to address what they're putting about their child in relation to what they are doing? Okay, on tw on internet, fine. You want to do that? Okay, do that. But why are you trying going real life? It's it's it's, 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 it's and then you you are Pikachu faced when you have you yours you went real life and there were real life consequences. Jasper cat like <laughs> Jasper cat says says haru and then says chase say that in your best wolf howl so i'll be like how i like to play i like to play along i like to play along okay so like I mean, here's the thing right is that look like look at what i got showing right now right this is an account called katie is a liar and i, I, I recall interacting with this account a long time ago oh you can hold on whoop, whoop, there you go yeah. um oh. joan meaning another uh twitter account um, it's, it's been clear that the psychotic freak Sharla has been working with KJ from the beginning. This is not new fucking news. She has had many conversations with KJ, and now Sharla has help from PC. Now you can, now you all can fuck off now. The, this is what I mean when I say the escalation. 
like when me and Mania, when me and you were working with Steve and we were like involved in this shit, you wouldn't see somebody out here being like this psychotic freak, especially after, especially what? with Steve said- going out there being like, oh, this like. It's like psychoanalyzing somebody without a degree, without that information, and just making right? like these baseless fucking claims about this woman's mental health. This is fucking unacceptable. How does what, this what, happen? This is not. This shouldn't be acceptable in a in a community that that um. That, it wouldn't have been. Know. Yeah, it wouldn't have been. I don't know. Not while we these, were there. Um, these actors, these these types of actors, are allowed to come in the community and given validation. And um, I think so. Uh, we know that who is the biggest, um, you know, um, cr- uh, you know, person who does who does the most of the times. We know that. We know that. Um, that's why when I said before, don't attack people's mental well being. And I myself have always said, do not give diagnosis on someone's mental well being or their, you know, personality, psychotic, um, narcissist, path. If it's pr- if it's prevalent to the conversation, so like with Nat, if I say Nat cannot be trusted or utilized as a source because of her established mental health, then I'm not commenting about her mental health or dismiss like right this and this these are things that have been validated and sourced. So if you say like, hey, but we know that Sharla has like these PTSD issues. And I would say, okay, cool. That gives you a reason to say, hey, maybe Sharla is behaving this way because of these issues. Or maybe this escalation happened with Sharla because of these issues. You can make that kind of a comparison. But to say, like, it's clear that the psychotic freak Sharla has been working with KJ, you can't utilize her mental health to justify a completely separate claim and use that as a as like some kind of fucking attack like that this is this is not what we expect from this type of community but they got here somehow how did they because they weren't like this when we showed up like when we were around this was never what we saw you wouldn't see somebody saying this is swatting and then you wouldn't see like yeah but she's a snake and she's ugly and her haircut sucks and she's a bitch and like i won't talk about these people cause, and uh, or or dress them directly while addressing them directly and also this and also no, that I'm gonna no send my you would them, you know to, right. to address them no you would say hey actually it is swatting and here's why you know why i know this because we were part of that and what we did when it was like, okay, you know what? This is something valid that we need to address. We said, oh, no, this isn't a rape apologetics. Here's what rape apologetics is. And we had the conversation about what is and is not rape apologetics. And then even oh, at that please. point, I had said, your issue is platforming. If you want to talk about platforming, we can. We can have that conversation. And I'm likely going to agree with you. Yeah, but don't go running in the opposite direction where you don't need to go and which actually devolves the conversation. And the same thing in this one. You want to talk about someone's behavior, go for it. Right. You don't need to make and and do your research. If you're claiming you're a YouTuber, do your research, you know, build up your case and do it in one or two streams. Okay, you needed two streams. Okay, go for it. Sure. Right? And why 12 live streams? And beyond that, again, obviously the uh, the streams that came afterwards were because TROs and um, C's and Dissus were being issued at that time. So why, why such, why, why are you, okay, you are not happy with the situation, get it. This is- like You're treating this happy. like that's a mic drop. This isn't a mic drop, it's yeah. just statements that are just nasty. It's disgusting. Yeah, it's disgusting. What is mic drop about that? And how did you establish that Katie Joy and that lady are working together? Please the thing is, is like, proof. oh, oh, it's not. It, okay, so even if you want to make it about or not about proof, right? You can just be like, okay, you should be able to point to a singular video. Because if you're trying to disseminate accurate information, and I've done this in the past, and I've explained this on streams with Steve in the past about Mm -hmm. what you want to do. This is what we did with the rape apologetics shit. You make one video, and you make that one video very, very good, 
and you make that one video available. Now, the length of the video will vary depending on what it is and how much it is that you feel like you want to address. And then when people ask you, are like, what the fuck is going on? You say, there it is. This video is what's going on. So that way people don't get confused. They don't get lost in the sauce. They don't end up escalating because the information is easy to find. It's clear and concise. And you put your screenshots and your receipts in that video. So when people come to you bitching and moaning about, well, where's your evidence? You go, watch this video. It's everything is right here. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, so one, and why are you encouraging and enabling such, um, participants who make these kind of like, like statements? Why are you doing that? And, um, like she said, make one. That's what we said about Steve for for Katie Joy also, right? We said, make one video. Okay, you wanted two videos, and move the fuck on. But he until something new and happens with, and you have something new to address, until, yeah. then sure. Yeah, but each day you're going to try and say like, oh, she has a fucking whatever wart on her face or her chin is broken and all that. What are you doing? You are you are poisoning your own well, and you are dilating your own argument by doing such things. After a while, yeah. people will just get desensitized, and they won't take you seriously. They're like, oh yeah, they're doing this, they're making fun of her again about her looks and stuff. Right. The impact goes away of what you want to do. Yeah, you burn people out. And well, and that's what I think I'm, I'm seeing, right? So like, I was, I did research, like, research. I fucking looked around to see what the fuck was going on. Because, like, people throw the word research around, and it's like, this isn't real research. Like, you understand if I go look at through somebody's Twitter, that's not real research, right? Like, that's just, I went to go see what the fuck I'm talking about. But Mm -hmm. when I was looking around, and when I was watching these videos, right? Like, Nikki, Aaron, Steve, uh, Veda are all saying the same shit. They're, the people in their communities and the people that are watching all this shit are saying the same thing. Katie Joy is saying the same thing. They're all saying, this has gone too far and this needs to stop. Well, to, to, to know how to stop and to know that like, you're, you've burned your audience out, you've escalated shit over and over, everybody's at a 10. You ask somebody a question in this group to be like, hey, can you, cl-? like, they make a statement. So if I were to go to that, like, um, the the account that we looked at earlier, because I, I don't mean to call that person out in particular. No. Because, like, that's just it's an example. You're talking about. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. If, if I were to respond to that tweet and say, how do you know that Charlotte was working for KJ, question mark, they fucking, up here. Oh, you fucking know. You know what's going on. Blah, 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 blah. And it's like. You're a troll and I'll how? block you. Like, excuse me? Right? How, like, if, also, if you cannot I, handle a conversation in this uh, area, the, and mm-hmm. because you're living at an eight, you are so wired and so stressed out about this online situation. You guys are basically fighting over a dead possum, and somebody walks by and says, why are you fighting over a dead possum? And you hiss at them. <laughs> like, like, that's reasonable. Um, <laughs> the messenger reveals, it's so good to see you. Uh, get in touch with me. Um, keep being authentic, right, wrong, or indifferent. Yeah, no, listen, if you, if you can't be honest with yourself, what the fuck is the point? Like, what's what's, yeah. what's useful about lying to yourself? Like, <laughs> That's not helpful. We, like, yeah, like, um, so this the tweet that we just saw, they have already said people if they... That if they disagree with them, they can fuck off. There's no. There's well, no, I mean, um, that's what Steve's saying. If you don't agree with everything that I say, you, I don't care, fuck and you off. can fuck off. And it's like, then how? You said you don't care about convincing people who are on the fence. You said you only care about people who already agree with you, and that you mm-hmm. anybody who disagrees with you can fuck off, and you're not interested. So then, what's the point? What kind yeah. of debate community is this? It's not. It's not a debate yeah. community anymore. It's a circle jerk. It's a circle joke, yeah. Um, and also, like, we, we noticed what Erin did, right, in her live stream. As soon as someone pointed out, at the start of her live stream and at the end, the, the people pointed out that she's not correctly saying what was said. She lashed out at them. Humiliated them. Yep. Yep. This is somewhere now, and, and 
Yeah, yeah these are these are creators. These are creators yeah. that are on stream, and somebody in the chat comes in and asks a question or says, well, what if it's this instead, completely reasonably, and they zero in on that one person and are just, they just give them shit immediately. Yeah. And it's like- that, that is so, yeah. What are you doing? Why would you You're do trying yeah. to disseminate the information. You should be welcoming questions, and you should be able to answer those questions. And if you're stressed, so stressed that you cannot have a proper conversation, then maybe don't do that live stream. Sit down, relax, take a deep breath, think about what you want to say, come up with a script if you want to, watch the right. stuff you want to cover before you go blundering in, you know, like a berserker, and then just throw shit all around, and when people are like, hold on, hold on, hold on, you just start bonking them too. Like, it's a classic, it's the classic blunder of you've become the thing you've been arguing or fighting exactly. against this whole time. Yes. And it's like, okay, yes. but how, how does this happen? How did we get from reasonable criticism about Katie Joy to lying about being the OG victim? Like, Steve oh, knows God. he's not the, Steve knows he's not the original victim. How does he know that? I had a video on my channel interviewing somebody that said that Katie Joy took advantage of Facebook groups before she was ever on YouTube. And anyone Suzanne exists. Yes, I was about to say that. Uh, like, if there's an OG there, that's Susan. Because she worked with Katie Joy before um, Katie Joy came on the non-secular show. You bakas. I don't see Susan going around and, you know, imploding. No! She's a lovely oh. lady! She's always been lovely. Yeah, I mean, I think she's got, like, a lot of shitheads around her, but she's lovely! <laughs> yeah. God. So, but how do you- how do you get here? How do you get to this point where you can't even handle somebody asking a reasonable question, where you're paranoid that anybody asking a question is a troll? Anybody asking a question is trying to trap you. The yeah, way you get why that way, paranoid. the way you get that way is by being dishonest. When you're mm -hmm. dishonest, you have to keep track of your dishonesty and the ramifications of what that dishonesty means. And so, like, if you lie about this thing here, you have to be concerned about this, 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 and this, and how those things connect together. There's a lot you have to worry about. The more dishonest you are, the more difficult that becomes. And if you're worried people are going to find out that you're lying because you have an entire platform based on calling somebody out for lying, you're gonna get real fucking worried about that. Really quick. Mm -hmm. As you should be. You should be worried about that. Yeah. And so you get, you can't handle people asking questions because any question is like you're one step away from having the whole thing crumbling down. Oh, cool. All ass meltdown. Yeah. Um, also, um, I remember when um, Tina I'll cut you, she asked me to be an admin for her, for her Facebook group. I might have like commented in there twice for the sure. whole duration of like two, three years. I was an admin, but I didn't give a shit. Oh, uh, Steve invited me to that shit, and I was like, yeah, okay. And then I never went in there, never looked at anything, didn't get participate. I don't even think I posted. I, I won. <laughs> and I was like, nope, 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 nope. Fuck that. Party. You know why? You know why? Because... I just hate Facebook. Same, same, same hmm. thing was happening, talking about the looks and shit. The conversations were devolving. There were some very good people who were making very good points, they don't, don't get me wrong, but the majority of it was just like stupid shit like her looks and how she's a bad mother and yada yada yada, and I'm just like, oh my god. And so I, I, emotes, I, I, I noped out, I noped out, and um, huh? Yeah. What? Nothing. Keep going. Ignore me. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, why are you so obsessed with Facebook groups? Number one. Okay, the only people who are who who um, work with Facebook groups are the people who want outreach, right? They want an audience, or they want someone to listen to their opinion, right? Right. Okay, make your own. Tina did, right? I think so. Tina didn't even make hers. It was someone else's that Steve was made admin of. Surprise, surprise. I wonder how that happened. Now I will have to go back and, you know, rethink about that whole thing. 
because it belonged to someone else and Steve got made admin and that person disappeared. Remember? And why are you going after other people's groups? Make your own. If you are convict if you have conviction in what you're saying has substance and validation, make your own group. Why are you going in other people's groups and just causing chaos for them? Doesn't matter if the person who's telling you to follow the group rules has been there for a week as an admin. They were there before you, they understand the rules. Even they if they're even if they're there after you, they've been put in the position of authority over the group. Yep. It, fuck off. It's not yours. But why yep. are you even beyond that? Why are you still going? You have the group. What are you yep. mad about? It's, it's as, as if like it makes you look di a guilty conscience. Conscious. Mm -hmm. That's what it makes you look like. It makes you it look like you're feeling so guilty that you have to overcompensate for it. Right. So, all right, so we know how we kind of got here, right? It was like, it's just, n Katie Joy needs to be the enemy. And so because Katie Joy's the enemy, anybody who asks a question that you don't like the answer to because it doesn't make Katie Joy look like literal Satan, you're against, it's, it's a us versus them. It, it's the, the bad kind mm. of tribalism. Like tar tribalism I inherently is not a bad thing. It's, it's good to have people in it's your real fun. life. It's gonna be part of groups that are generally friendly to you and good for you and, and generally positive. But if you build an entire community on disliking another person and then you start letting that group take over your entire online existence, you're gonna start running into problems. And you cannot yeah. build a community about hate without it falling apart eventually. The, the community yeah. here and the people who left Steve and then ended up coming with me when that split up happened are not dedicated to fucking hating Steve. We're dedicated no. to, and, and we're about the same shit we were about when, before we left Steve. Like, the, none of the Steve doesn't matter. <laughs> we're actually trying to continue the, continue the legacy of the non secular show to talk about topics, yeah. to talk about subjects rather than people. Yeah, we do address people from time to time because like, it's obvious they're like ridiculous, ridiculous, but we still try sure. to stick on the topic they're talking about. And yeah, and this is where I think so. Yeah, it's not Steve about whether or not Steve way. was swatted. It's about whether it's swatting, swatting whether it was Steve or not. Whether the TRU, for, TRU filed is has any chance or not. Whether you having a lawyer or not having a lawyer, you know, will affect your you, the, the the TRO you're going to file or the RO you're going to file. When you assume that anybody who is critical of you is dishonest in their criticism without checking the criticism, you're doing yourself a disservice, right? Because maybe you are wrong, or maybe there is a different avenue of thought and content that you can make about whatever that criticism actually is. But we're not seeing that. We're not seeing commentary. We're not seeing entitlement translating. What we're seeing is entitlement. Yeah. Right? Like, that, that's not what's happening. Yeah, entitlement that people to other people's trust in you. You're asking them to trust you blindly on trust me, bro, while giving nothing back. Right. And escalating. And, and escalating your audience, big, which is a whole other problem yeah. that we need to talk about. That's a big disservice to your audience, in my opinion. Yes. They depend on you to form their opinions, and you know that. And you taking advantage of them, that and causing them distress at the same time. What is fucking wrong with you? Why would you do that? Why would you stress out your audience like that? Not give them information, tell them to trust them. Uh, trust Sending them off half-cocked to argue on your behalf. Yeah. And putting them in awkward... If the people that you're, you're talking about are so bad, you're sending them off to, like, your imaginary war and talking about how these people are so awful and you're sending your audience to go and fight on your behalf against these people that are so awful... And not only that, which is bad enough on its own, 
You're doing it without giving them the information that they need to do so. Yeah. You're you're basically yeah. like, hey, we're Russia. We're just going to throw lots of people at you. Are these people armed? No, one of them's armed and one of them has bullets. Good luck. <laughs> Fuck off. God. God. Um, also, and if, if, if you're so convicted in your stuff, like, you know, address it yourself. Why are you being such a pussy? Address right. it yourself, like what we are doing right now. We are sitting and talking about it because we are, we are like, eh, what the fuck? <laughs> we are not like we are not afraid, or we are not like we are not guilty conscious. If someone points out we have said something that is wrong, or we find out, sure. oh, okay, that was a misstep, we will say, okay, that was a misstep. We are not afraid to say that. But that I'm wrong all so the time. <laughs> yeah, all the, you all the time. You're like, you're like, but if if it is this. And if it is this, then this. You go like that, right? Um, Chesh, the Sphinx but- was not aliens. Oh. Are you sure? I will die yeah. on this hill for no reason. I have so many. <laughs> I have so many hills. The Discord knows. I have so many hills that I will die on for no reason. And I've said you that. Can I'm like, no, I'm the secret Discord to know more. <laughs> I die on this hill. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> we got a super chat from uh, Winter. And hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, please correct me. And it says, Steve uh, brought uh, brought the Stone Age cult tactics to the digital age and took notes from those he himself spoke out against. Self-delusion is addicting. I feel sorry for those who are yet unaware of his shtick. Yeah, there are, like, pretty old tactics. Getting people, like, hyped up and in a tizzy and then being like, well, I didn't tell anybody to do anything. I didn't- I didn't want them to do anything. I didn't say that. And I told them they didn't have the information. Did you? Did you? Yeah. Like, why are you so ass scared to talk about it yourself? Okay, you got tiaras and arrows and stuff. Then shut the fuck up! Stop talking about that person in code language! CDL! What the fuck is CDL? That employee! Yeah. If you're not wrong, then say her name. Sharla. Sharla McKiver. That's what her name is. I found that out, like, fucking because of what Aaron put out there. They're, they spammed her information everywhere. We know exactly where she is, who she is. We, yeah. You can find her shit, like, because they put it everywhere. So, admittedly, a private information... Like, or, sorry, they, they admitted this person was private, then put her information out there, and then come claim that other people are doxing Steve, whose name and whose publicly known roommate's name and district within California are public information. Like, everybody knows this information. They disseminated that information. It's not like nobody yeah. knew Steve's name and went, oh my god. And he's out here being like, oh, but I use my real name. That means it gives me more integrity. No, it fucking doesn't, dude. No, it doesn't. It makes you stupid. It makes you stupid. It makes you yeah, blaming everyone too. else for your information being out there really dumb. <laughs> yeah, my na- my real name is out. That was out on a long time ago, and I just gave up. I'm like, whatever. It's Mine's double out there. A, single A. Pick, 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 pick your shit. Mine was out you there as a fucking joke. <laughs> I never use that as as like as a what do you say as an uh, evidence or as a um, validation for. For my integrity, right? Maybe I use my master's degree for that. For for that, sometimes I I do oh, yeah. tend to get. But it's relevant. Sometimes. I don't. Yeah, it, it's it's relevant. But yeah, I sometimes I, I think I do feel like sometimes I just brag too much. <laughs> uh, need to work on that. <laughs> um, so, like, I took precautions against people trying to find where I live. Yeah, that's what I did. Instead of like putting it out there, yeah, come and find me. What That's what I did. What the... Yeah. Yeah, yeah uh, you'll see that on you'll see that on Monday's video. Nikki's like, "Well, what if I SWAT you?" And I'm like, "SWAT me, bitch." Bitch. And that why I, are but you I'm not going to if somebody puts out my address and my info like finds where I am, that's on me. Because I know for a fact that I've put enough information out there that people could find me if they tried hard enough. And I'm not gonna say, oh my god, you doxed me. I will say, how how hard did you have to work to find this? I'm actually yeah, kind of impressed. Me. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah, and this is regardless of Steve having, as we know for Winter, dead name doxed Winter. Steve put out, disseminated out, Winter's real name, which was their dead name. And when the and, and then sits around and is like, I support trans people. When he found out, did nothing. He nothing. did nothing to fix that. Nothing. It's ridiculous. You, you have any that? idea how many hours I spent editing and re-editing and adjusting that fu- and rendering that first video that we did on that until Winter told me, you know, fuck it, don't worry about it. <laughs> the, the second one. Hour, days. I think it took me three days to get that video put together to make sure that was not showing. When this happens, when you do your shows nearly really. Dumb Fact Friday is something like that. Like, because Shesh does all the, like, production work. I just turn up. That's what I do. If tomorrow this show takes off, I'll be like, give everything to Shesh because she's the one working on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but this is, but this also, this show also has quality. Why are you not working on your shit before you go into something? Try and know that person that you're going to sit down and have a talk with. Have a pre-show talk with them. Have a talk a day before with them. Sit down and talk. I'm like, okay, what do you want to do? Okay, we'll come up with a skeleton for your whole fucking stream. So that you don't deviate and you don't do bullshit. Like shit like that where you're outing someone and putting their life in jeopardy and danger. And you don't fix it after the fact. When you find out yeah. you do nothing. Yeah. He did nothing. He did nothing while they flipping. were alive to fix it. He did nothing after the fact to fix it. After. Zero things. Nothing. He it did Mania, so- Mania, say it with me now. What did he do? Fucking nothing. <laughs> like and he was so flippant about it. He was so like you He didn't what- care about the trans person he was bringing on, which is the same trans person him and Aaron and Veda and Nikki used to bolster that Steve isn't transphobic when the person who they, they were ta- the trans person they were talking to ha- was treated like shit and then came on to my stream to talk about how poorly they were treated and talk about like the bullshit that they were saying because they couldn't they weren't allowed to do that on Steve's stream. Like Hello, but they 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 do not and cannot look at any fucking criticism. They cannot look and learn or acknowledge anything because if they did so, it would it would mean that the the the, the escalation that they're trying to keep everybody at would dip. They're and taking they their audience. Like, I don't know. And they're what trying to you, you know what an abuser does? when they try mm-hmm. to keep you on edge and gaslight you and tell you that they told you that before or that you Hope do you have that again. information or there's information you just don't have they they put they, they, they're they're doing that to their audience they're keeping their audience at this on, on edge. edge level so that way if anybody asks a question or criticizes them they're already ready to just jump and like bite on that the same thing Erin also did that when she covered your 15 minute, you know, video about that it yeah. was not swatting. She didn't watch it, obviously, when she went into it. She had no plan on how to go about it. And what happened? She blundered like a blithering nincompoop. That's what happened. And then she's like, she's trying to pretend and she's trying to exude like false bravado that, that it was successful somehow when it wasn't. That's the biggest, right. that's the, in my opinion, I'll say in my opinion, you can agree and disagree with me. In my opinion, that's the biggest um, red flag of someone being dishonest. And that's but you can she did. But you can take criticism in, on that. If somebody in the chat goes, actually, yeah. Monty, I disagree with you, here's why, we'll be like, oh, okay, let's talk like, about oh, that. Okay. Yeah, and, and we saw that when someone pointed out, Aaron, that's not what was said. Chess said that if this is swatting, then this, she said, if this is swatting, then what you are doing is, um, you know, witness right. intimidation. She said, if. She didn't say that you do, you're do you doing that. And she she just exploded on that person. Well, the thing is, is like, if somebody says that you, that's not what was said, what you ought to do is go back and play the clip again. Be like, okay, well, hold on, let me double check. Did, did I mishear that? Yeah. Especially if the yeah. person is like, you misheard, that's not what she said. You go, yeah. okay, well, let me double check. I mean, it's very possible that in in my 
15 hours of watching these fuckers <laughs> go on th <laughs> that I misheard something or I misunderstood something possible. that one of them was trying to get. That's very possible. And if somebody comes to me, actually, you misheard that this is what Nikki was saying, and I'll be like, oh, yeah, my bad. She's still a dumbass. But, <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. Yeah. She said this and this. And or, and or I'll say, oh, okay, if that's what she meant, then da 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 Right? It's not yeah. hard. Like, you can't be on the internet and be this thin-skinned. Especially when your whole live stream is about that particular video. <laughs> it was right there. You could have gone back, re uh, you know, rewind it back and go, oh, okay, what did she exactly say? That right. tells me, number one, you're desperate, you're rattled, and you're being dishonest as fuck for some reason. Why? Why? What, like, like she said, why do you have such thin skin? And why? Uh, why are you so desperate to misrepresent people that you're not willing to listen to your audience and go back and check yourself? Are you? Are you God? <laughs> even even Greek gods were fallible. Like they made bullshit all. They did bullshit all the time. Yep, it's true. You can check that. Like, it's in the Odyssey. It got wrote down. <laughs> so come on come on man and then to go on the person uh, on the person's um channel on the video who's criticizing them post a fucking long novel and then in the end say oh i don't want to silence you but what the fuck is that why would you say something like that or what if i swatted you what the fuck is that what is, why are you making such statements? Number one, and then being like, that's not a threat. That's not a threat, though. And Lord. it's like... <laughs> it's like that fucking bitch crafty Kila did. Yeah. That's no, a whole I other conversation. Live, but I'm not a bad person, so blah, blah, blah. And I'm like... Now that's extortion. <laughs> the that's thing is, is like... <laughs> so... All right, we've been live for an hour, so let's take a break. Yeah. And when we come back, what we'll talk about is when you get stuck in this drama cycle, right? And how, and we'll talk yeah. about how like YouTube enables and encourages this kind of a drama oh, cycle, yeah. and like from a monetary point of view, we'll talk about that a little bit. And we can get into Bonnie. How the fuck do we get out of this? How do you, how as a how do you get out of it as a creator, and how do you get out of it as a viewer? Yeah. All right. And um, do we want to like? Oh yeah, if someone has an opinion- and my, my mom's in the chat asking the question that I'm literally saying as she's asking the question. <laughs> she's your mom, so she's in tune with you. She has been in tune she with knows. you. She knows. Somebody tattled on me. She knows. <laughs> oh no. Right, oh okay. no. All right, we're gonna take a- we'll take a quick break. We'll be yeah. back in like a couple of minutes. And we'll yeah. find out what get the hell. Get your tea, get your beer, to... and... Yeah. yeah, get your tea, get your beer, get your snacks. And we'll be right back.
Hello and welcome back. Uh, I hope everybody got their snacks and they're ready to go. I'm out of beer. Bad timing. <laughs> Manya's still muted and her, her camera's all over the place. You good? Is my camera ever in place? Tell me that. It's never in good? place. I would like to point out that we've got I got some special things that I want to show you guys that have been added to uh, t to our stream, uh, particularly. Me, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Oh god. Um, I also I also got I also got this one. This is specifically for people who decide they okay. want they, they they think they're entitled to tell me exactly how I should run my stream. Mm -hmm. Um Okay, I need to address this. I don't know. Um just have a look at it and see if I should address this because Nikki is not saying that we is saying that supposedly we are on Cage's payroll too. And I'm just like Here's Where's my paycheck? To be... Yeah. Bitch, where's my paycheck? Me. Pay me. Um I yeah. I, and, um, I mean, quite frankly, like, if anything, KJ ought to be paying Nikki for all the damage Nikki is doing to her and her friend's reputation on- and right? it which does nothing but benefit KJ. And but this Nikki, is the thing, um, they make these is... accusations based on what, bitch? Why are you Subpe so sorry? Subpoena me! Come on! Do well, that I thing that we all- uh, nah, Do that nah, nah, thing! Nah, nah. I'm not giving them the satisfaction Do that no. thing! Do that thing where you all like that we all made fun of KJ for where you subpoena literally everybody on the fucking planet. That was pretty yeah, fucking funny, it. and we all made funny parody yeah. songs, and then we can make funny parody songs about Nikki. Winter is in the ch in, in the call in the background, so uh, I see that you're in here. I'm gonna get you in in just one moment here. Oh, winter's um, here. Okay, cool. cool, cool, cool. Yeah, winter's awesome. here. Winter's got winter's got some just, shit to just say. To, just yeah. to finish this, um, Nikki, yeah. if you're going yeah. to talk about us being on. Charlotte's side. Maybe when you're tweeting about her, type her name properly. Don't call her like other like. Oh, um, Carla. Um, yeah. Don't call her like um whatever like a code name. You know I. For her. Carla, in my last CDL. In my last and, and, thing. And employee. In my last oh. thing, I invited Nikki on. If she wants to chat, she can come in here. Okay, I'll I'll t I'll tell her. Um, yeah, I'll let her know. Her. You let her know. I'll, um, I'll but before. Just before we get winter in here, I just have one thing that I want to show real quick. I'm sorry, please be patient with me. Um, just because I just wanted to point this out real quick. We looked at this tweet earlier, right? About calling people, like, just straight up, like, so, like, crazy fucking psychopaths. And then, it's because that Joan was the person, that's that Whispering Willow account. They were like, Joan, this person's a fuck, this, this fucking psychopath, Charla, was obviously working for KJ, da 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 da. Joan blocked this user and the user is like is it something i said yes it's not yeah. about the, because you're not making legitimate claims you're making bold face accusations based on nothing and you're not willing to have a conversation you're being blocked not because of their behavior which was the funny thing back in the day back in the day you would ask legitimate questions and then get blocked and be like ha 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 i've been blocked look at how pathetic this is now you're getting mm -hmm. blocked because you're being an asshole, you're the person everyone's laughing at at that point. Yeah. Yes, and, um, it's Nikki, it's it's something you said. Yeah, it is what you said, and people have every right to block you. Like Steve says, oh, I will block you if this and that. They have the same right, so what the fuck are you being salty about? And also, Nikki, you saying that we need life? Listen, I have a full-time job, I'm doing a diploma, all right? I I ha I have a life outside outside um outside outside this. This is I do for funsies. I make so this much different it, content. Nick, Nikki and them are the only ones making content about the same fucking shit over and over and over again. I, also, I, 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 how dare you? Not only am I a cave goblin who refuses to go outside and will not touch grass. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. This is this is well, back to my the house and tell me how to arrange my sister, uh, furniture. Check, no, check yourself before you wreck yourself. You yourself. All right, so let's get Winter in but, here. Winter, Winter. Yeah. Hello. Yay, everybody! Yes. How we doing? 
Hey, I'm so happy to hear from you. How are you? Uh, I'm doing a lot better now. Um, yeah, it's all good. going good. Um, if my voice sounds a little off, it's because I'm also extremely sick. Just got off the flu, so. Oh, that sucks. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Rough two months, stronger girl. Yeah, Yay. it do be like that. It do be like that. Uh, so, oh, yeah, and that you, comment about. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, uh, just to quickly, the comment on the Nikki thing. Um, get mm -hmm. a life outside of this. It's like if someone can make money doing this, I think that that's a bit of jealousy. Maybe a little bit, yeah. There's uh, one of the things that Nikki said in her video uh, uh, that I responded to on, you'll see it on Monday, the replay on Monday, for anybody who's interested in seeing that. Nikki brought up my numbers, right? And saying like, oh, well, I'm not successful, <laughs> as successful as her on YouTube because uh, because I'm a bitch, therefore that invalidated my point, which is fallacious on its face. <laughs> but yeah. sadly, by the time I had watched her video and saw that, my numbers had exceeded hers. <laughs> Yeah, and also like I thought she had, would have Whoops. taught her better than that to make uh, like better than to make such fallacious arguments. Like mm. numbers do not. Oh, Steve, or, not make not fallacious arguments. Yeah, Steve is not about making honest arguments anymore. Yeah, um, it's clear that he doesn't even know the uh, way to do so anymore. I, I just, mm. it's something about him because I, I started up just watching. The original non sequitur show before chesh was there or at least before she was a face of the channel and to see someone yes. who i actually mostly respected and agreed with a lot of his points and he turned me around on a lot of things suddenly turn around and do his best unique rock impression is not exactly what i expected i don't know what else the man could do at this point if he's Yes. I, I don't know what what's the thing with the swatting did he like claim he was swatting but things aren't adding up he claimed he was swatted and then his description of the scenario was that the police knocked on his door and it resulted in him closing the door on the police's face what did that mean they would have just kicked the door in because that's not how a swatting works what right? no what? The, the moment <laughs> the police show up the door, they wouldn't knock and go, Hey, sir, do you have, like, a bomb in your building? Or, hey, sir, how many hostages do you have behind you? Do you mind letting us have a few of them? Like, <laughs> no, they kick open the door and they secure the situation. And if you're being falsely swatted, you hope you're able to behave calmly enough you don't get shot. I have a question. Actually, this might be a question for Generic, because I know Generic is in the side chat, so we might pull him in a little bit later. Yeah. At what point do these people feel embarrassed? I don't think they I, I think that <laughs> I think that okay so speaking from someone who has had some past uh, issues um when you are in a delusional state and you believe that you're right and it it becomes almost a religious belief not saying it is a religious belief but it becomes mm -hmm. around that Likening point to where to. like you are justified and thinking of what you're saying even if if you're serving your survival, like if you're serving your personality being kept together and you feel like you would break and fracture if you allow anything, even a chip, to happen mm -hmm. to admit even a single fault, you will prevent that from happening. And mm -hmm. I think that Steve and um, that other person who was insulting that woman's um, mental state, um, yeah. oh, they God. don't understand how that once they admit they're wrong they're not destroying themselves they're liberating themselves and i think at this point they have the shackles of self-delusion upon them and you that's all they a, care about you think it, you think it's an ego issue um ego is always a part of it but mm -hmm. i also think at this point it is now pride more than anything else and mm -hmm. that uh, pride will hold you in place that's a, that's an interesting point. I think that's an interesting way to way to view it because then there are there are also as creators because as a creator you have a responsibility, right? And I know you're going to be working on your channel and building that back up. And I think that you, maybe you'll agree with me on this because this is something you need to be concerned about when you are a creator is that you take on a degree of culpability and a, a degree of um, responsibility for the audience you you curate. And so if you are Absolutely 
unable to be corrected and everything you say is going to be correct regardless of whether or not it's self-contradictory you impose that onto your audience because now your audience believes that what you're saying is non-refutable and you always have to speak as if you have someone who's not an adult yet in your chat or your subscription because there are people who will come by and they will accept everything they soak up things like a sponge because they don't quite know what to believe in themselves or maybe they haven't quite found out who they are yet and so you you have this real terrible possibility of implanting biases you have in yourself or even prejudices when well, i went yes. to talk to steve mccray i was very concerned because i saw on twitter he had made an well a very bigoted statement and mm -hmm. he was supporting um bigoted tweets and that's the whole point of going to talk to him in the first place because from everything i know about this man this is not what i've been seeing and so i was like what's going on steve like is something happening or are you misspeaking yeah yeah it was almost like i came in out of nowhere like a friend who's never spoke to the man's like hey did you mean that and right. the response i got was is no i totally mean that i'm also not bigoted though but i will support um trans hatred at the same time so you maybe tell the people a little bit about who you are because I know we've we've kind of mentioned this and now that you you've mentioned that you are somebody who's interacted with Steve. Do you want to talk about like what capacity uh, um and like what people can maybe expect from you? Well, I'm I consider myself someone who always likes to be well informed. Um I mm. I'm a trans woman. Um, I care a lot about correcting bigotry, or at least pointing out where the line of thinking goes wrong, mm. um, because a lot of a lot of bigotry and prejudices are based upon arguments that have no foundations. And once you can immediately point to where that foundation has its crack or a missing pillar or somebody just put drywall up and left without even putting in a foundation, it becomes very easily to destroy it and possibly open themselves up to the idea that LGBTQ people are just like you and me. So and what? Sorry, go ahead. I didn't mean to interrupt. No, it's okay. Um, what I was trying to finish off there was that there are people who hold themselves as a pinnacle of mm -hmm. truth mm -hmm. and truth is seems to always be subjective once you actually talk to them about what truth is because it always mm -hmm. terminates at where your personal beliefs are mm -hmm. so if you're going to be someone in a community who is influencing people whether they are grown adults or not who can think for themselves or have a better foundation of this and can discern whether you're putting out false information or true information you have to be careful that what you say doesn't produce a community of hatred that will harm someone else because everything has a ripple effect. Right. Everything you yes. do, the smallest little splash in the pond, it doesn't matter how big of a channel you are or small your channel are, if you influence one person to go out and commit an act Butterfly effect. or to even give them the opportunity for an act, then that's on you because you've put yourself to a higher standard of speaking. Right, you you've elevated yourself to the, to the within the public sphere, which I think most of us here, including in the chat, would agree that that public sphere now you is up for legitimate scrutiny at that point. I have a quick question for you, um, and then we'll probably let you go. Um, Steve said in his the recent video that I looked at, he said that he's not against LGBTQ plus people. Of course, he said it wrong, but whatever. Um, he said he doesn't he's not against trans people he just agrees with conservatives about trans issues as a trans person what what are your thoughts on that and as somebody who spoke to steve about it okay um steve is the kind of person who will who will cover up that lizard as much as he can that's what i like to call it when there's something evil within someone that you can just see the visible hatred come out 
Mm-hmm. Steve is someone who will cover himself and like, I'm not actually against you, but I'll be damned if you have your own restrooms. I'll be damned if you can coexist with us. I'll be damned if you have the same rights as us. I'll be damned if children who are experiencing these things can ever get help. And if you kill yourself or unalive yourself, that's really not my problem because I never said that I was against you in the first place while enacting mm-hmm. every bit of dialogue every bit of talking point and every little side way that he could do it. The biggest thing that revealed it to me after our conversation, because I was still trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, even after how horribly that conversation went, he retweeted this post about the largest, I I don't know, is this wall of just, it, it was the most blatant hatred I could see Steve ever just okaying and just saying, I agree with it. And then you're like, wait, why do you agree with it? Don't you, can't you read this? And you'll just be like, well, I agree with it, um, but I don't have to agree with everything in it. I'll agree with it, but not agree with it at the same time because I don't want to mm-hmm. lose people to come watch my videos. But at the same mm-hmm. time, I really can't stand that you exist in the same world as me. And if he has a problem with that being said, my Discord is open at any time. Right. So one thing and from God That's God just God what is- Steve's oh. MO is. Yes, yeah, I think that's fair at this point. I think there's enough examples of that happening, both directly and indirectly, um, particularly with, I'm not against trans people, except for, like, go find one thing I ever said negative about trans people, except for that time. Like, as soon as you do that, I feel like you've lost the plot. Um, God's Auditor pointed out, uh, it feels like Steve put himself in the religious type feedback loop where any kind of criticism is seen as affirming his narrative, like when missions get doors shut in their face. Ooh, that's very observant. A little bit poignant, maybe? Ooh. All right, thank you very much for joining us, Winter. I look forward to... I'll, I'll make sure to get your, your stuff linked and, and put out to people for that are interested in following your story and what you've been talking about and Welcome kind of what's back. going on with you. Maybe we'll finally Yay. finish part part three of the, the philosophy of pride now that you're please, back. Please, please, let's go back to the jungle. <laughs> 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 philosophy of the pride I, I, I've forgotten about that <laughs> oh my god alright maybe we'll come back to that thank you so much for joining us uh, Winter no I'm problem girls see you I later really, I really appreciate it I look forward to seeing you in the discord bye 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 so alright Mania how did we know how kind of they've, they've gotten into this cycle because like as, as Winter had said that when you build an entire community on hate you have nowhere to fucking go except escalation 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 keeping your audience at this like chomping at the bit for the next piece of information how does youtube do you think respond to that kind of stuff do you think you i i, I think that youtube enables it what, what do you think yeah youtube's like can't hey, take more <laughs> take more <laughs> by the time like the 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 level you were before at the level of hype it doesn't work for you anymore. It's like drug addiction, if I might not dare say. It's like, oh, this. this it's a kind rush. Of piece of info- sure. Yeah, it, this piece of this this similar piece of information is not causing that kind of like, um, you know, um, satisfaction. Now I have to go to the next next level, and YouTube's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you go. Here's the next level for you. Well, um, for example, right? For example. Veda made this claim that she was going to get a restraining order against these two people mm-hmm. that she's dishonestly lumping together and then nikki is takes that information that she kept in a paid area that was like that was a wow yeah that was like a patreon members only where she's like you have to pay me to get this information nikki proceeded to disseminate it a couple of a couple of days later on the same Uh day it got dismissed so what the fuck are you hyping people up for Yesterday. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. So you hype people up, get them to pay you to get the information, and then you get your friend to put the information out on the day that you go in to justify your case and, and get it to court, so that way the court will see it, and then you get it dismissed. And then like, you come are back and are, are you them. embarrassed yet? 
Like, I, I asked if, if Nikki was embarrassed when she said, Oh my god, Chesh, why are you showing what happens in a video game? Why don't you show what happens in real life when it comes to swatting? And then they press play and it slow zooms into the camera of the person, not the game, where they get swatted and then proceeds to show another person getting swatted like it's not a fucking game. And her response was, Oh, she's such a bitch. So your answer is that you're embarrassed and you're calling me a bitch because you have no retort because you are just embarrassed and don't know how to handle that. They like had I... a retort. They had right, a retort. exactly. The hair. Yeah. Oh, my hair. Oh god, my hair. <laughs> my hair deserves hair. my hair deserves a swat, doesn't it? Look at it. And, mm. Yeah, and it's all just clean shaved. It feels so much better the... now. Mm. Yeah, it feels more like eerie. You, you wanna to touch that. it? Yeah, you do. I know you of do. Of course I do. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Where was I? <laughs> I am getting paid by Katie Joy. Where's my NASA paycheck? I'm getting paid to say that the Earth is round by NASA. Where's my paycheck, Katie? Yeah, seriously, man. man where's where's mine? Steve? Yeah, where's Steve on this? A it's Steve. Job. Steve, you're gonna come get your girl and correct her that you'd like, I'm not getting money from Katie? Or be like, you can't show that? Like, where's my- where, so where's, where's my get- I- <laughs> listen, 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 listen. If I deserve a paycheck from anybody, it's a gift- it's in the form of a gift basket, and it's from Charla's lawyers. And that's only because y'all got fucking baited by a 15 minute video into minute spending video. hours Hours incriminating yourselves. <laughs> Am I getting paid because you're incriminating yourselves? Is that what? Is that how that works? And the funny thing is, it's not a funny thing though, but it's so strategic that what they did. Um, I I believe they have some brains to do that. Um, Nikki put out the info from behind the paywall the day of the uh, hearing. The hearing got dismissed, and they started adding more speculation and more drama to it by saying that apparent by saying they think that the Charla lady, Charla and KJ are working together, or Charla is employed by um, KJ. Mm -hmm. Again, just on what? Out of my ass. Coincidences are not evidence, and I, I really, I really, really feel bad for Veda that she was put up with this. Whoever put her up to it, I really, really, like, you should be ashamed of yourself if you put this in your head that somehow Sharla is Katie Joy's employee, because that's what she put in a court document. Right. Who the fuck put her in? But you mean the, the court documents that were dismissed? Those court documents? That were dismissed. Mm. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna ask, I'm just gonna, I, I don't know, Veda, if you did it yourself, you really need to sharpen your critical thinking skin, skills and logical thinking skills. Um, don't delve into litigation if you cannot produce proof or evidence. This is a sincere advice to you. And if someone else has put you up to it and gave, they gave you that idea and told you to run with it in your TRO, you need to go back and question them because they don't have your best interests in their heart. I'm just saying that. You know what Shesh does when I go to when I go to her and ask her, oh, uh, I'm gonna do this, and Shesh is like, why would you do such a stupid thing? That's what she would tell me. <laughs> yeah, 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 say that to my face. You're like, why would you do something like that? Well, I don't understand. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, I don't understand, like, the lack of self-awareness that you get when somebody yeah. says, like, when you say this person is getting paid by KJ because they put content behind a paywall, while hanging out and talking with somebody who puts their content behind a paywall. Yeah, what, like what, like what's... Veda is putting the content behind a paywall, and then Nikki is disseminating the paywall content. And to Nikki, who's like saying that we went real life, bitch, you put the documents out in in your video. What the fuck you're talking we're, about? When what is what does that mean? Is discussing what is and is not swatting real life? No, the TRO stuff, I think that that's what she means by that. The TRO that stuff? Um, the TRO, Veda's TRO stuff. So, so, Veda and Nikki put that TRO stuff out, and then if uh -huh. we talk about Somehow the stuff that they put out, we're uh -huh. dis- but we haven't disseminated any information. We didn't. They did! 
and we're just going off with what they have provided us or provided their audiences that's it it's so funny that they are the ones going real life but we are the ones who are supposed to take responsibility for that for some reason huh nani I okay, mean, even, okay, Aaron, okay. even Aaron admits and agrees with me that it is not my responsibility to protect Steve's information. Right? I mean, Steve, well, didn't, care, Steve didn't care enough to protect his trans guest to not dead name them and put their, put their real name safety. out there. Mm -hmm. And didn't, he didn't well, care about their definitely. safety. So why, why are you coming at me? Like, really? Is she not answering the call? Is she not like, hey, you, you can come in and fucking make your accusations. Come. Do you not now do you feel embarrassed? No? Still no? I'd be embarrassed. I'd be very embarrassed. Here's the tweet, by the way, for anybody who cares to see if what, what we're fucking saying is accurate. I'll give you the whole thread. Give me a second. Because, um, here... Yeah, no, sure no worries. I, I believe we've got generic in here. Generic, are you are you there? Hey! It might take him. It might take him a second. I know he's got us muted. Hello. Oh, okay. Hello. Oh, you sound really far away from your microphone. Yeah, yeah. Oh. It's okay. Give him a second. It's really that bad. I can barely hear you. Are you like far away or is it using the wrong microphone? Because if it's using the wrong microphone, you might need to leave and then come back in. Uh, it's probably using the wrong microphone. It probably is. V Vmix is not that bright when it comes to picking microphones. Okay, there he goes. All right, we'll wait for him to come back. Um, yeah. Yeah, so this says, I'll just read it out real quick while, while he's getting that sorted. Right, they just mentioned my post about being on KJ's paywall. But, of course, forgot to mention they lied about the swatting. What did we lie about? What lie? This is the definition of swatting. Here's an example of swatting. And it's not it's swatting. So what's the lie? I, I read out, line by line, the, the report. police report. <laughs> and the report is valid by the looks of it because you admitted that Steve got visited by sheriffs at least three times in the past. And she said that there reason. were two of them, two of them were domestic violence calls. Yeah, so, what are you whining about, lady? Wait, so, wait, 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 D is this tweet admitting that she's lying? They just mentioned my post about being on Katie's paywall. It's not nice when people lie on you, is it? So she's admitting to lying? Wow. <laughs> she's she's admitting to say she's basically saying I said this to get content to get a reaction for my drama channel so you're trying to bait people into responding so you can make money and feed the content, remember yeah. when I said what does YouTube do YouTube allows you to make money off of drama so you can use that money to make drama and the only reason mm -hmm. that these people are talking about still talking about Sharla is because Sharla took legal Recourse? No, 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 Carla, Carla. Oh, Carla, Carla sorry. Control? Mm -hmm. Whatever the fuck you're deciding you, whatever fucking shitty nickname you want to give this woman, is because you're gonna use the money that you're making from drama to make more drama, and, like, everything you guys are talking about is fucking fabricated, and you had to make this go into a legal route because you didn't have content otherwise because Sharla doesn't make content. So you had nothing to, so you're telling me, you're thanking me for saving you from your bullshit, for having something to finally talk about. And then the best thing you have to say is, she's a bitch. <laughs> oh yeah, all right. <laughs> How do you how do you get out of this? How did Mania? How do you think that that a creator specifically gets out of this scenario? Number one, put out a statement that we are not. Going Nikki's to talk claiming about she this wants out. She doesn't. She this has gone too far. That she doesn't want this anymore. Oh. She wants the internet to be fun again. I feel like I'm the only one having fun at this point between all these creators. They seem really. Hey, it's sick. It's like, disgusting. Come on. They they feel ill. So like, what does Nikki? Oh, if Nikki wants now? this to stop. And Nikki wants this to no longer be a thing, and it's gone too far. How, what can Nikki do to to move her audience away from this and move herself away from this scenario? Do you think? 
Um, stop talking Thoughts and prayers? The lady. Thoughts and prayers. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, stop go ahead. The lady. Stop tweeting about it. Okay? And make a statement saying that you don't want to get involved in this further and you're not going to talk about it. And then just... And maybe, maybe if you have some integrity, apologize to the people you have been whining, whining about, like me and Shesh. Or even you just apologize to your it. audience and be like, listen, sorry guys, I know- Yeah, this that's is... the main thing. Apologize to, yeah, apologize to your audience that you got them involved in this shit show. Simple as that. But that would mean that they will, she would have to admit that she's wrong and all that bullshit, you know? So, so uh, she, Nikki can, can never be wrong. She can never be wrong. You know why? Because she's Steve McCris bimbo, that's why. I said it. <laughs> Stop, drop, and pray. <laughs> <laughs> um, so now Nikki's going back. <laughs> oh, God. Well, she doesn't want to come on? I give her a no, link. she doesn't. It's fine. So, yeah, we can, but she's not responding. What she's doing is she's trying to be aggressive. Now, she's going to other channels, the trolls that we used to have in the past, and now reposting their videos, and she thinks that we care. The fuck does that have to do with me? <laughs> yeah. No, no, um, just check out. I I'll show you what she's just posted. Um, it's like, that's a very, like, okay, we are, we are here. We are trying to help you out. And what you do is, right, you're going for the next high, high now for your audience. That's what you're trying to do now. Well, isn't it? there, so I guess. this is, this is the dishonest part, right? It's, it's, yeah, I'm going to pretend these people are mm -hmm. saying this thing about me about content that I didn't watch and I'm not watching. Mm -hmm. Allegedly. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to treat this thing that they did here as if it's here. Yeah. Right? And so if I treat it as if it's here, my audience will believe that it's here, which enables and encourages and exposes your audience to what you're saying are very dangerous people. And so if that's the case, you're exposing your audience to potential dangers. You're exposing your audience to, um, you're, you're also setting your audience up for failure because what are they, what is Nikki's audience going to find when they come here? Me saying, Hey, Nikki, you want this to stop? Let's have a conversation. And Nikki responding yeah. with escal with escalating accusations up to here. I haven't been around or talking about KJ in years, <laughs> but yeah. now I work for no, her. Oh, but, but now Nikki's like, oh no, I, you don't like it when people lie about you, do you? As if, so you know what you were saying was bullshit. Was a you lie. Just think, uh -huh. You just think that your audience is too stupid to realize. That you, you don't right? care if you lie or not about someone, just as long as you can get a reaction out of them so that you can make more content on it. Right. Can I make a guess on what she's going to do now next? Yeah, go for it. Why not? You're the video that she just... She, yeah, I, I think like crooks, remember? Mm -hmm. um, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a crooked personality. Uh, she's, the <laughs> video she just shared, she's... The video she's just shared, she's going to sit and do a live stream reacting to that. I'm quite sure she's, that's what she's going to do. So, and how old is the video that she shared? I don't know, five years old? Five years old? She's gonna go and respond to a video from Hold five on, let me check. years let me ago? Check. Let me check, let me check, let me double check, yeah? Um, because I don't want to be like, and it looks like three years ago. Sorry, my bad, three years ago. Oh my but god, that it's that close. video? Oh my yeah, god, that I forgot video. about that one. Oh my yeah. god. I'm not gonna lie, I actually kind of enjoyed that video. I thought that one was pretty amusing. The where it cuts off is like where you see the, 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 the cut crop. Mm. <laughs> um so yeah so like okay she shared oh no it's a one minute video i thought it was a whole live stream or something like that nah nah she's not going to react to that nah nah oh, okay, she's just okay. trying to look for some shit about us um to again okay, she's doing a disservice to her audience she's trying she's she's um dragging her audience into more bullshit okay that's up to you now nikki we have given you advice what you can do and no, nah, we're just gonna move on now. And maybe we'll have some advice for other creators who have, like, in involved themselves in this bullshit. King Yukon makes an interesting point. Because their big mm. brains think that Nikki, she, is in Canada, she won't get into trouble, newsflash, it doesn't matter, you're still a pawn. Well, okay, so, sure, but also, 
I am also in Canada. So if she's... <laughs> oh. So if she's trying to use her status as a, I'm outside the country, therefore nobody in America can come after me, I'm in Canada. So if she starts making defamatory content and harassing content towards me, I'm in the same country. So she is not protected by this invisible barrier that she thinks exists, which definitely does not exist. The, the barrier is that it's more difficult, not that it's impossible. It's the same thing with Erin, right? Erin's like removed transcripts off her videos, which is something you can do. You haven't removed what people can do. You just added an additional step. That all people have to do is take your video and then run it through a, a, a free program so. that will put the transcript there for you. And all you've done is make your video one. less accessible to people with hearing issues or people who want to read it because you've removed the closed captioning. When you do that, <laughs> good on alienating your 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 audience. Hooray! Like, Hooray. So what can what can Nikki do? If Nikki wants to get out of this, you said she needs to stop talking about Charla. You she needs to move on to other content. She needs to move on. She she was doing like crime stuff, right? Supernatural and crime. That's what a channel is called, right? Go back to that content and um just say um this is too much. I'm sorry for dragging my audience into this. I do not want to comment on this and just move on. You know what? Your audience will accept us because they're like, okay, she doesn't want to talk about this. And they might even ignore all the bullshit you have said in the past. But if you want to keep escalating it, be our guest. We don't give a fuck if you go in the past and you pick out snippets and videos of us saying something and putting them out that were taken out of context, obviously. And, and, and Steve not stopping you from doing that because he knows that it was done, why it was let's done, say, and let's, how let's it was pretend. done. Let's, like, let's clarify yeah, that, though, right? I'm just going to dive into that just a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Um, Steve might not be able to stop her, right? But what Steve can do yeah. is correct and her. and Or correct her. They're all making all this shit public. You think that if Steve had integrity, he mm -hmm. would say, actually, Nikki, you're incorrect about this. There's a reason why Steve didn't correct any of them about the swatting he just said thank you for supporting me throughout this even though every single one of them said publicly on stream it's that not it was swatting. not swatting and that's what i'm saying you know blowing smoke up each other's arses that's what it is you know um and that's what i told Aaron. i'm like listen you want to you want to play appear neutral, go for it. But I got some self-respect, lady, and I'm out of here. Bye-bye. And um, for Veda, it's very sad that she she went all, all through that trouble to, like, you know, file that paperwork. And all she got in return was embarrassment. It's so sad. Poor it's generic so sad. is struggling to get in here. I believe in you. Are you using... Oh, God. Uh, I will I will only make one suggestion. What browser are you using? Because Google Chrome is the <laughs> one that works the best, but also Google Chrome has, like, really weird settings that you have to, like, spend three days trying to sort through. Um, Winter42 said, Chesh, you thought shit was sweet, Nikki? I like the picture generic is using now, though. That's pretty great. <laughs> I'll let you know as soon Nikki as I can see your audio. I cannot see. I had audio no right issues now. with Nikki. I had no issues with Nikki. Even when, you know, there were people coming on her channel and saying bullshit about me. I had no problem. You know, she could have anyone on her channel and talk to her. I'm not the one to tell her what to do. But then she started this bullshit now. And I'm well, like, okay, so here's the thing. Okay. Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I don't even though they like even though Nikki and Veda specifically and Steve are very, very specifically trying to attack me and my character and make it personal. Like, they're trying to make it personal, mm -hmm. right? I am not yeah. taking it personally. Because I don't care. <laughs> I don't <laughs> value your opinion about my hair. You know what I mean? And so because I don't value that, it, it doesn't do anything for you. It, it just makes you look like a petty bitch with, without yeah. an argument. And so if you don't have an argument, mm -hmm. it means that my video about swatting stands you just saying no it is swatting doesn't defeat the, the argument you're not an authority on the matter and even if you were you would still have to back it up but okay here's what i think nikki should do if nikki wanted to like clear the air and nikki wanted to like get away from all of this 
I think her best course of action would be to come here. Oh. Her best, her best course of action would be... I, I don't know why I didn't think about that, but because maybe I thought she wouldn't be okay, open to that, uh, maybe, you know. Well, of course she's what. not open to it. She's an idiot. But it... If she want, if she wanted to have some integrity and she wanted to face some honesty, what she could do is she could come here and she could tell Elmo. And I would say, okay, you've made this claim. Can you back up this claim? No, tell Elmo. Tell Elmo. <laughs> so, like, yeah. you, you, you say this as if you know it for a fact. All right, let's talk about it. You want to disseminate this information. You want people to talk about it. You want people to be entertained by it because that's how you make money. Let's talk about it. We will sit here and we'll have a conversation about like, okay, what is swatting? How do you define swatting and how do you apply it to Steve's situation? situation yeah. yeah. Right. Or if you want, like, I, I didn't fucking talk about the Charlotte shit. But if you want to clear the air, your best bet is to come on and have a conversation. Because as scared as you might be of me, the only reason you're scared is because you know you can't back your shit up. Mm. But if you come here and you say, hey, listen, you know what? This is my belief I can't actually back it up. At least then you've... you've solidified yourself and your position in a way that your audience can understand where you can stop escalating them you cannot lose control of your audience and you can clear the air on a lot of your dumb fucking shit and you can guess what from that point you can stop arguing about your stupid dead possum you could say okay listen you can come on here we can talk about it. You can say, here's the information I do have. Here's what I know. And then I can sit there and be like, okay, how do you know this? How do you know that? And for some things, you might just say, you know what? This is an inference that I'm making. And I'll be like, okay, that's fine. It's an inference. Go on. And you can make everything as crystal clear as possible. You can take all of your accusations. You can package them into one space. In, in a space where you are open to questions and open to clarifications. And it will do wonders for your reputations. And it doesn't have to be me. You can do it somewhere else. Yeah. You just have to pick a place that's going to be able to, like, be like, okay, but how do you know that? And if you go to a yeah. place that doesn't ask you that question, it's not going to do what you need it to do. But you also would have to actually disseminate your information in, like, a fucking, like, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, a PowerPoint. Right? But <laughs> Oh, bruh. yeah. Bruh. Yeah. The thing is that, um... Yeah, okay, she can, she can come and talk to us. It's fine if she's uh, if she's genuinely feeling I mean, like I invited that, her. You know, she can come and talk about yeah, my haircut and tell me her. what she thinks she we, I should do with my hair. <laughs> yeah. And like what's the point of like going back and posting all that bullshit, you know? Okay, go on, do that. Fucking we don't care. Um it's just you are just diluting your own arguments now. You're poisoning your own well. We are not doing it. Right. You're doing it now and you are confusing your audience now. Good luck. Just saying. Good. Well, this is like assuming <laughs> that I'm actually willing to do so. I did invite her on, so I have to. I have to like stand by what I said, and so like of that course. could go either way. Whatever, regardless of whatever dumb shit accusation she makes, I don't really fucking care. So I'm mm. willing to stand by my word about it. And I'm like, listen, if this is what you want, you want these. You make this claim. You want these things to stop, and your res your behavior about wanting these things to stop is to escalate the thing you want to stop. And you wonder why people don't believe you? You wonder why people think you're dishonest? There's a saying, Nikki, um, actions speak louder than words. Just saying it on Twitter that you don't want to be part of drama doesn't mean that you're not participating in the drama. And I understand it can be really hard to get out of the start cycle, right? It's hard to get out of the... Yeah. Uh, oh, I think we got generic. Generic! Oh, Hello? can you hear me <gasps> now? Oh. Hey! Ooh, we got him! That's the sultry voices oh, in my ears. Mm, what do you got like, for us? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, I'm, well, I mean, depending on the scenario. But <laughs> <laughs> but I'm, I don't like the idea Ouch. of stream up in your ear. 
Oh, Come on now. okay. It's too I'm sensual. Take it back. Take sorry, it back. sorry. I'm 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 admiring C Dot getting his ass handed to him over here. Um, <laughs> what's up? You're welcome. What's going on? <laughs> Bap to her five said, "The harder they try, the more comical and pathetic they look." Get puck some treats. I will get puck some treats. Generic. Yeah, what do you think about like point. this 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 relationship between like Nikki and Steve and Aaron and Veda and their audience and how they've kind of navigated that scenario while also claiming this is not the scenario they want to be in I, I think first and foremost winter hit it on the head like pretty much from the jump like just their understanding of it but also it, it is their their entire relationship with their audience and with their with themselves in particular it's very egocentric it uh it comes from a place of like not being told to or not wanting to be told that you're wrong because the concept of being wrong infringes on their actual core person it, it's it's equivalent to people who are like if you're like i don't like iphone not for any other reason than just like i don't really like apple or whatever and they treat you like your public enemy number one or like because the people the, who the like console, apple are like this is my this is my identity yeah, yes the console wars nonsense of like being like oh mm. you don't like xbox it's because you don't like this kind of da 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 but it's it's similar when it's attached to people the problem is is that their emotions are attached to it more so than ever because they feel themselves as individuals are you know they mean that much more than other people I, I see this all the time when i was teaching it would be that my kid is much more so than everyone else's kid i have a classroom with 24 fucking kids and your kids one you know and so that's the case with steve every year. and their entire audience yeah every year and, and they rotate in and out but that's the problem with steve and, and this entire thing at least as far as because i don't know much uh, of what's going on um just kind of outside looking in and listening as it as you guys are talking about it now but yeah really it's 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 all it's parasocial it's ego but mostly they also live in like a big echo chamber like the, in the modern context being told that you're wrong to a lot of people because it is it isn't just them i don't want to make it seem right. like uh they're they're individuals in this and it's or they are individuals in this they're directly related to this specific thing but in general yeah. Even in our even in our nicest conversations, the idea that someone could tell you that you're wrong, even if they could present you reasons as to why you're wrong, uh, makes you feel as though it's a personal attack. And because everything is so egocentrical, so tied to their person, that anything and, and they are they're you're playing on your back foot. It's like tennis. You can't constantly be sitting there on your back foot waiting for a spike to come at you because it's like, well, then you're going to miss that little tiny lob that goes right over the net that you have to run forward and you fall and everyone laughs at you. And now you're feeling even more embarrassed. So it's like it compounds on top of itself on top of that. They just they create the scenario that leads them to being is in a shit show and embarrassed like this where they have to go and make a video where they're like ah cheshire's a bitch and she's a liar and her hair is ugly like it's, it's because they have no like you said earlier way earlier in the show was that they they, they just they're covering their bullshit with more bullshit and people are going to start figuring it out and do it two plus two doesn't equal fish it's it's fairly apparent it's not hard you know <laughs> do you think that they do so what you're saying is that you you think they do feel embarrassed and they're trying to peacock their way out of that embarrassment Oh yeah, it's 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 the it. yes, yes. It's the it's the uh, Ashley Simpson. I'm gonna do the dance when everyone found out I was lip syncing thing. It's like, well, maybe you should just like <laughs> not be a pop singer trading off your sister's identity and just maybe learn how to sing and we might like you, you know. And it's 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 one of those. It's, it's the Jared Genesis of like, hey, your dad played drums and played music. Maybe if you just did that instead, instead of being a fucking weirdo on the internet who talks bad about people constantly, we might like you. No, you're not the best at bass. No, you're not the best at drums. But with hard work and practice, maybe you could become better, build a fan base no steve refuses to do all those things and in, in terms How of in his dare you like in steve and aaron and uh, <laughs> nikki and veda to drunken peasants lol cows that's not something i literally said a year ago <laughs> How dare I mean, you? <laughs> it, it's uh, how dare how dare I? Uh, no, it's mm. it, funny enough. I was in the, or at least in the background of that stream. Um, but it, it's it, it, mm. this is the thing. You guys are are now. You, you noticed a, a couple months ago, I just disappeared off the map because this was yeah. like the deal, the stuff we were dealing with with Vic Manana. It's like, okay, I have presented in the chat with Roddy Rhodes, who probably still pops up every now and again, but I'm tired mm. and, and old and a boomer. And but. It's like no matter how many times I can catch you in your own stupidity, in your own lack of logic, I can take it and flip it back at you and point out how you're wrong if you use this base, like this base level line of logic that just only goes to it's not complicated because it supports your stupidity. And then when you try to add complications to it, and caveats, you fall apart and you're stumbling over your ass. It's like, OK, I just told you, it's Steve is the equivalent to telling a two year old to draw a circle. It's a fucking circle. Just draw a circle 
And it's like, but a kid will just be like, I want to draw the moon and that. It's like, Steve, you want to be all over here talking about this and that. And you can't put dot center around and back over there. I don't, it, it could be sloppy. It mm-hmm. doesn't have to be a perfect circle. You know, it's, it's work. It's preschool again. Adults are just kids that pay bills. And Steve is the biggest kid I've ever met in my entire <laughs> life. And I've never met him. There's my mom's out here throwing shade at me for my hair. What the fuck? <laughs> Your mom is a saint. Don't you dare. <laughs> All right. So Her here's the thing. I, I have a have question. Noticeably since that. <laughs> I, I, oh, God. God damn it. So I have a question, um, generic, about, and I don't know how caught caught up you are on sort of the the, the premiere from yesterday. Um, Steve in that video said that um, he can't be transphobic because he has one person that he doesn't like for their behavior, not because they're trans, except all of his issues relate to them being trans. But that doesn't say what he has to say about all of trans people, right? However... Mm -hmm. He talked about being racist, and he had said uh, he had said that well, I love this one black person, therefore that indicates how he cares about all black people. Okay, so to that, as oh, a wow. as a brown man myself, uh, I will equate this to if I'm in your community as like one of the. You, I think I might be the only like constant or relatively constant black person in the entire like discord, right? Uh, I think there's one or two other people as far as I was told. Uh, yeah, I think so. But if someone were to say, well, I know generic minority in the chat and that doesn't make me a racist. It's like, well, that's not how that works at all. It's it's, it's it, and more, more to the point. It's like, here's the thing saying if, if, Let's even, I can throw it even to Manya because Manya and I are both brown. If Manya said, if I said as Manya's Indian, right? I've had issues with indifferent because I worked mm-hmm. in tech for a long time. I've had issues with some Indian mm-hmm. coworkers. If I went, oh, yeah. I don't hate Indian people. I just like the, I don't, I just don't like the fact that they like eat curry and then and, and they wear wraps on their heads and they say a double O sounds with that weird noise. And but like it, that would, that's what hey. that would be. That, it, it, you know, and it's <laughs> right. like, firstly, Indian people are great. Uh, and secondly, it, depending on the day it did. but secondly it's like you can't say everything i don't like about someone everything that defines another human being i don't like rap music and i don't like baggy clothes and i don't like faded haircuts and i don't like basketball i don't hate black people though i don't just think you know like i don't i don't, I don't hate black people. i just hate everything about them you know like that's that's nonsensical right and it, i find it it's always best to in these situations with people like steve and who are just they, they want to just blanket over everything and just just with a paint everything with a very broad brush take their logic and throw it onto any other concept anywhere anything else as simplistic as possible and see if it doesn't sound fucking stupid right like right. it's just like any anything yeah. you do okay so that's fine i don't hate like i just did here with manya or like how i just talked about myself even if it was something here's why i don't like coffee. i don't hate bulbasaur it, but i hate that i hate grass type pokemon and i mm-hmm. hate poison type pokemon and razor leaf is a piece of shit garbage move it's like so you hate bulbasaur <laughs> yeah and i hate dinosaurs and i hate like it but plants like it's it's this is a safe it's not logic this is the same logic that fanatics use. Like, oh, we hate the sin, not the sinner. Yes. You know what I mean? It is, it's, yes. It's, it's I mean, the same thing. Why would, that's why you get a lot of overlap in, like, Christianity and, like, the radicalized ideals. With the irony being that because they – it's it's very – it's very insidious. They know it's it's like the village by M. Night Shyamalan. It's like you all know you're fucking liars. So instead of not lying and just being truthful and letting people think on their own and be and being a decent human, you're going to just dig yourself deeper into holes of lies and frame everyone else as the bad guy. You can usually spot the person that's wrong in the conversation because they are immediately treating anyone who opposes them like a bad guy. I mentioned it in the chat. It was when I first came into Chesh's Discord. I was like, I don't like Black Panther. And I listed all my reasons why. And then other people rebuttaled me. And I didn't go, well, I'm black. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. Da, 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 da. No, I went, uh, okay, yeah, I guess I didn't think about it like that. And then we all lived happily ever after. <laughs> I just, I don't, I don't get it. I, I'll never understand, like, Chess just disappears. Um, 
Sorry, yeah, no, we had a whole conversation about Black Panther, and, like, there were things that I didn't consider that I, I thought you brought up that were great fucking points, but we never get to, ha like, those valid and interesting conversations if we can't get past step, step one, where person yeah. has a point, person has a point, here's why they have this point, here's why have, they have this point, and let's discuss. And a lot of these situations nobody's wrong you're not wrong for liking black panther you're not wrong right. for disliking black P black panther you're not wrong for necessarily liking katie joy's content if the depending on your reasoning for liking katie mm -hmm. joy's content if you're like i like katie joy's content because she fucking lies to me 24 7 then then maybe that's kind of weird <laughs> right right well yeah. i mean this goes back to every sorry manya you can go ahead nope no but this Not goes me? back to like Not every me. single no, jeez, we're all being way too polite. <laughs> Lag. Uh, but but no, the, the, this always goes back to pretty much every conversation. Anything I've ever been in, even when I popped in on the show, this is always the conversation of yeah. The, if you like this thing for the wrong reasons, you're wrong. Like that's just show your show your math, show your work. Show, yes. Just because you got show two you. plus two equals four, how did you get there? Yeah, Denzel Crocker telling me two plus two equals fish because he wills it and he has a fairy doesn't mean jack shit to me, dog. I live in reality. Like it's it, it, right. it's a very and it's frustrating because the the fact of the matter is is like the only way to communicate with a lot of these people is to essentially be as antagonistic as them when it comes to pointing out reality and not allowing them to just flip things over to be on their side. Like you, you can't, like we just said, you don't have to like not like Black Panther, you can. But you can't say, I don't like Black Panther because it's full of black people, which is what a lot of people were saying back right. at the time during the discourse as a black, and then going to a black person being like, oh, do you like Black Panther? No. So you look, he doesn't like it, not for anywhere near the same reasons as what the hell you're talking about. I don't like it right. for different reasons yeah. that are I think more that's kind of what happened to Winter, right? That kind of what, ha mm -hmm. that's, that's what happened with, or that's what Steve is trying to use. Say like, I don't hate trans people, look, there's a trans person that agrees with me whether or not the reasoning tracks or whether or not that that trans person has some kind of positions that are against trans people inherently. Winter for Five said, as an LGBTQIA affirming Christian Episcopa Episcopalian, I just got flashbacks from my Baptist upbringing, Manya. Good job, Manya. You're traumatized. You're re-traumatizing Winter. <laughs> so... Generic, if if Steve and Aaron and Veda and Nikki, as they claim, want this to stop, and this has gone too far, like let's assume they're being honest about that. If that were the case, what do you what do you think that they could do to enable their audience to like like de-escalate the scenario between themselves and their audience? Because there's a there's a connection there. There's like they're inherently tied to one another. Uh, the first thing is an admission of guilt. That's always going to be the first thing, an admission of what you did wrong, regardless of whether or not you think you're the wrong one in the scenario or mm. in, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the thin line between fact and fiction, the truth usually lies somewhere in the middle. Uh, and it's usually that like, yeah, in any given scenario, for the most part, you could have just maybe said one thing wrong. Uh, I've mentioned a million times before I'm a person that's particular about cadence and body language and tone and, and like all the little things to communication. You could have just accidentally said something weird some way because or whatever, right? Like no matter how little of the the blame on yourself you want to take, there is a, usually a minute amount in a general conversation. Uh, and they need to first take onus on that. That's the, that's the big first thing. Uh, and they also need to admit that they they are the ones that pushed it too far because the opening of the conversation was never pushed all the way to the nth degree of being like this person is a piece of shit. like once you start getting it to didn't that start point, there, yeah. yeah it didn't start there it was just a that's not swatting that's not what that, it's like talk once again talking to a kid it's like they beat me up what did they do to you they took a toy from me that's not beating you up that's not how that works they just took it right. what okay also when you say they took a toy from you what, what where was the toy i put it on the floor and walked away you put the toy on the floor <laughs> and walked away. This is something I've dealt with a lot, especially with two-year-olds. You put the floor on the toy, the toy on the floor, and walked away, and they beat you up and took it from you. Like, also, I've been sitting here the whole time on the floor, and I watched Watching. you do that. Yeah, right. like it's so. It's that's the first thing you have to establish reality, and then they have to admit that to their wrongdoings and 
not necessarily that they had to they have to say that they you know they, they blew it out of proportion or anything like that but admit that they added to the, the fuel to the fire you're not being because oh, yeah. you can't play you you can't right. play more high ground when you're calling people names like that's another that's a big thing that like this yeah. community those community of people do is always be like well, you know, I'm I'm here on this moral high ground, and then you call them a name, even though they've been calling you pseudo intellectual Luke the Duke or whatever that fucking dipstick's name is. Yeah, does yeah, that a lot. Well. He'll 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 play smart with words, but he's insulting people, and then claims that because he didn't curse or anything like that, then that makes him so much superior. You you, you can't do that. It, it's first off, it makes you seem. It's like, not how that works. It, it's being. It's not how that works. And also, yes, yeah. it's passive aggressive. Like, but it's also very pompous. Them as if someone's a child. Well, I mean mm -hmm. you. This is once again why I don't like people who play at psychology when there are people like me who have degrees right? and, and, and get right. ignored because I, that's why I don't like stuff like that because you, you in psychology, and this is once again too, where uh, Steve and, and the whole rest of them would all be benefited of learning themselves first because that's the main point of psychology. You crack open your own mind first, like yeah. tattoos. You do them on yourself yep. first. You crack open what's up with you, and then you relay with exactly. other pe other tattoo artists. Hey, does this look good? No, it looks like trash. Oh, okay, I'll go back and do it again. I've like, said this before, and I'll say it again. And you can you can correct me if I'm wrong here, since this is your profession. So if I'm correct, if I'm incorrect, please tell me. If you want to communicate with other people, you have to understand how you communicate. If you do not understand how you communicate, how could you possibly expect anyone else to? Yeah, it's happened to me to know these a things. A couple of times. When I'm discussing things with my risk manager, sometimes I'm all over the place. And she's very, you know, patient with me. Sometimes I say a sentence and she's like, uh, what? I'm like, oh, okay. Um, then I go back and then I explain to her step by step what I meant. And she's like, oh, so you meant this. And she just puts it in one string of sentence. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and she's mm -hmm. like, okay, I got you. So you have to modify your way of communicating depending on the person you want to communicate to. Right. You have to speak yeah. that language. Yeah, if that's your intention. If that's your intention. Yeah. But if you just want to, like, confuse them, just go blah, 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 uh, and the person so what, like, what the fuck are you talking so about? So I think <laughs> what Generic is getting at is that if you want to de-escalate a situation, you need to take ownership, period. Yeah. Whether or not you believe you're wrong, you need to take ownership in your mm. engagement in the first place. Yes, because the biggest thing of it is, is that you have to like, like you, like you mentioned, like you both mentioned there. You have there's a level of self awareness that you have to have. Okay, I have to take a step back and think: Was there anything I might have said in particular that uh, mm -hmm. you know would would have escalated the situation? Okay, let me right. examine all the words that I said throughout the course. I said this and that. Okay, well, also I have to examine the platform that it was on. Was it on Twitter? Well, sarcasm is sometimes hard to get through through text. Was it in the Discord? I've had situations like that in communications and in, in the Discord with like Manya because Manya can be a little snarky, but you can't understand that through text. So instead of going, "What the fuck did you say to me, Manya?" I go. I'm going to assume that this is some sarcasm. And if Manya keeps trying to shove it at me, then it's not. And I'll get mad then. But until then, I just assume that it's a joke or whatever. Like, it's, it involves right. you as an individual. I'm always joking. Not, yeah, but it also involves you as an individual not immediately going to be upset and be offended. That's the biggest thing. Yes. And be hurt. Like, everything is your fifis. Like, the irony is, is like, it's like you, mm -hmm. the, the one side is complaining about the feelings. Oh, man, you complain about your feelings too much. Uh, but you're the one in your feelings all the time about the idea of anyone outside of what you think is normal existing. And that's the simplest version of what the fuck we're talking about here when it comes to because the whole main thing was Steve with trans people. The main yep. point of it at Steve's surface level, which always needs to be understood as to why Steve is fucking wrong, is that his fundamental thought is and what he made that whole big discussion about was certain types of people shouldn't exist and be allowed to function like normal because I don't agree with the way they exist. That way does not hurt anybody, does not harm anyone. They're just normal people like everyone else, but I still don't like the idea of them existing. It is re that has been reinforced. We have two videos on it. It's been reinforced multiple times over. There's yep. a dude that was the British guy was laughing about his kid getting pigtails put in at the pool. And I'm just thinking, wouldn't you be more concerned about just going over there and being a dad? I wouldn't be concerned about calling my kid gay or anything like that or thinking he was 
gay, I'd be like, come on over here. So if, even if you think your kid, like, you know how stupid you have to be? Even if you think your kid might be like, oh, he's doing this girl stuff to not just go over to, you know, my grandfather did. He's, he was born in the, in the like 50s. You know, he did. He was just like, <laughs> hey, come on, let's come play some basketball with me. Because I have a mom and sisters and nothing but a bunch of women. Instead of being like, oh, do you like boys or something? He was just like, hey, come on and play this sport with me. Sports are man stuff. I'm not going to say anything and we'll just see where the chips lie. But come on, play basketball. Hey, look, I happen to like basketball. I already liked women, but whatever. Even still, that was his... Ir yeah, irrelevant, he but he was trying to help me instead of degrading me, which is what you I think and he, he's right? It, exactly. He, he was trying to do as as limited a knowledge as he has of the world outside of his, his old man ways not instead of being antagonistic he chose to be a grandfather and just be like i want my grandson for whatever that's worth to be interested in the things i was interested in it's the same thing i do with my brother he loves ninja turtles he also is very pretty i can't do anything about that so instead of getting like being like oh i can't he's so bah no i'm just like whatever you do do as long as he's you're very pretty anybody. and i want him to be ugly right Fuck. yeah i want him i want him to be an ugly boy but he's a pretty boy and i can't i can't you help if other boys break his heart everybody loves you a pretty boy you have pink nails yeah go for it <laughs> yep so, yeah i mean so when it when it comes to like it. like breaking these kinds of things down and when it comes to these like very simple but very complicated um, interactions at the same time because para being parasocial or being in a position where you're in enforcing your position or you're explaining your position or you're expecting your position to be taken seriously by an audience and that interaction although it's it tell tell me if I'm wrong here again you're a professional so if I'm wrong please correct me it's one of those things that it is very simple, but it gets complicated when you break it down to, like, a way an individual will conceptualize that interaction. Yes. So, really, always what it is, is that when you... It could all be, it's like I say all the time, it could all be so simple if you realized it's complex. You don't actually have to think about the subtle, like when we communicate with each other, we know what everyone means. We know what we're saying to one another. We know when we say certain things to certain people, certain ways, how they'll react. You should be just doing those things in natural conversation anyway. But the concept that you're, it, it could be a simple conversation if you realize that like, hey, that person, that individual's feelings about it are much more complex than the surface level things you may not like. You may think those surface level things you don't like are deeper than that. And that's fine. Hold that. Hold mm -hmm. on to that for a minute. Listen to what the deeper aspects of it, because if it's being trans, there's much deeper aspects to just being trans. I, you, the, the, oh, I, I just want to wear a dress. No, it's much deeper than that. So you coming at it from an angle of, only your especially coming in from England, only your side is the deep side of it quote unquote oh it's only, right. only me has these deep emotions about it it's like these well, are that's social already... interactions mm -hmm. and and very biological and very human and very personal mm -hmm. experiences you cannot Intimate. treat them like they're mathematics because our mathematics are not good enough for that yep also right. like just said that if you really want to understand what maybe a trans person where a trans person is coming from or a woman is coming from spend a day looking like them dressing like go them, do it go like do them. it go be a trans mm -hmm. person go, do it. go <laughs> pretend to be a straight woman steve which means you need uh, to dress like a woman behave like you believe a woman would behave pass as a woman and act as if you were a straight woman which means you need to be attracted to men in that case if you want to say that it's so easy and there's no issues for any of these people go fucking do it pussy do it. and report yeah, back I mean, and say what was your experience there's a reason why there are videos documented on, 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 on youtube where you, you want know, views you show, like, women have shitty yeah. fucking conservative fucking positions, state those positions, and then do a documentary of you going and doing those things, and then describing your experience throughout and at the end of it. That would get fucking views. People would love that kind of fucking content. But that, that would take work and effort, and, and like, you would actually have to be vulnerable and actually learn yeah. something. There's a reason why there are like documentaries on YouTube where like they show a woman going through the city, walking through the city, and they're yep. recording her secretly to see what's happening around her. Mm -hmm. And people try to minimize that also. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Steve, 
I'm just saying, man, you need to put more effort. Uh, it's it's um, just say, sitting there saying what else it could be is not the solution and it's not how you're supposed to approach these things. I have it's one like, question for Generic and he might get mad at me for this one. Oh no. Uh oh. Steve said that swatting, it, 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 like the, the, it would have been worse or it would have been swatting if this scenario happened to me. Like if I oh, if God. I was this or if I did this, it would therefore be swatting. Ooh. So I I I don't I, I'm <laughs> I'm doing it. You you I, I'm gonna say I'm gonna tell you right now. Uh, before you ask that, you are talking to a a black man from New York City who was born in the uh -huh. '90s when we had Giuliani stop and frisk. So I'm gonna need you yeah. to to hold that into an account where you talk mm -hmm. about some old white dude getting swatted. All right, continue. Yeah. Yes, uh, he said that that it could have been really dangerous for him if he was a black lesbian woman. How do you feel about that? Uh, good thing he's not, because it could also just be dangerous for him to walk around on the street. I, I want to preface this That's by such a good like, point. You, you know, it could also just be that it could be dangerous for him to go into a store and be loud for like five minutes, and then someone call the cops because you're just being loud. It could be that like any given scenario when you're walking around day to day being a black like i'm i'm in my 30s dog and old white ladies will still clutch their purse when they see me in public like i'm a well-spoken smart dude i i'm putting on an airs for the show because i don't want to sound completely ignorant but like yeah. for the most part i'm a pretty well-educated dude and i'm mm -hmm. a nice guy and i got a big smile and a round head i look like keenan thompson mixed with uncle phil and people will still like <laughs> when they see me somewhere <laughs> And, and and you're like, why are you clutching your pearls? Why are you being weird? And then also, how much of a fucking ego for Steve to be like, well, if I was black, nigga, you not. You're not though, so shut up. Like you, you don't like you're not a you're woman literally... either. You're not a lesbian yeah, you're not either. A... You're not even bi. I... Last the person, as... the you last person that you got, the last, the last time you got fucked, Steve. Was when you fucking ate shit in the pavement outside of a fucking Applebee's. Poor and Applebee's. You know, the way he minimized that situation by saying, oh, if yeah. I was. I'm like, you fucking old white man in America. In California. <laughs> yeah, in California you, you on top of that. You are not. It, it, Stop fantasizing about it. You're not. You're not the one persecuted here. Oh, Stop. oh, Steve is just fantasizing. Oh. And he wants. He wants to be a lesbian well, he, black woman he, so he could validate go live his like go. his victimhood. He wants his victimhood to be valid, like these three things he mushed together. Well, because, and also once again, he's a fully aware of the fact that it's not. So instead of right. being like. He, uh, he instead of being self aware and going, yeah, I know I'm a middle aged white man, and I could just close the door in the cops' faces, and t to himself, because that's another thing too. Keep, people, mm -hmm. can we learn to keep our thoughts in our heads sometimes? That like sometimes it, it's okay to rationalize internally. It's okay to go to the mind warehouse from the Stephen King, bo the book where you go and you move and you yeah. burn the papers. Yeah, from Dreamcatcher. Yeah. It's okay yeah. to do that from time to time and not say dumb Josh does things. That when she gags me every time. See. I wasn't invited to any of that. Anyway, and so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, to be fair, I wasn't. To be fair, I wasn't around. Uh, but to to be so in your own head to think that it's okay for me to say, "Hey, if I was you guys would care." Like no one cares. Clearly, no one cares, and you know, no one cares. No one thinks you were actually swatted. It really wasn't that big of a deal. And also, the fact of the matter is, this is something we just know from history. As I mentioned black in new york city during stop and frisk is that mm -hmm. yeah you being white kind of saved you from the having to not only deal with the cops yes, just coming and exactly. fucking you up but also allowing and you the opportunity to close the door fucking moron allowed you to close the door and allowed you to ask who is that and open the door without having a single fucking concern because right. steve right. when he described the situation said that this was not something he was concerned about he said that Damn, dog. I really wish I could be not concerned every time the cops like slow stroll by me because I look like a nondescript. I, I, a nondescript black guy. I used to know my, my old neighbor and I'll, I'll tell this story just because this is how this shit works. My old yeah, neighbor used to live down the block from me when I lived upstate, uh, upstate New York. 
was his nephew was a cop. This old Puerto Rican dude. And he used to stand on his porch, get drunk, and dance to music, and he talked to my mom every day. Uh, he was the sweetest guy on the face of the planet. And his nephew was a nice guy. He'd be like, hey, I'm glad you talked to my granddad. So he used to talk to my uncle. He's like, so he used to come by, and like when he would drive by, he would talk to me. And the one time he stopped and was like talking to me after I got out of school, over the radio, they called for a suspect that was on the loose. They were, And the exact words were, we're looking for an African-American male between the height of 5'10 and 6'1 with low to medium hair and, and facial hair, potentially a goatee, possibly full beard. If you've seen what my channel art looks like, yeah. and it's based off an actual picture of me, that I look like that. I like, as I That's said, I look really like all the, broad. All the films. It's a very That's generic. Really he looked broad. right at me. He looked right at me, and I was like, dog, I've been here talking to you the whole time. So <laughs> it was like a robbery. What the fuck and, are you looking gets, at me for? <laughs> Well, it was like he was Where's he was looking brain? at me like he was looking at me like he's Puerto Rican. And, and fun fact, I'm mostly Hispanic. So that's yeah. another thing. My skin is just dark. And then he, he looked at me and I'm looking at him like, hey, listen, if that's the kind of like I, I got to peek into what was said in between them. And we just look for generic black people and we don't know, like at least in that particular area, which is very common. But we don't know like you, the like Steve has no idea of any of those things. He's never had to well, deal with any of those things. He, tell me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me that Steve is trying to weaponize the fact that the police will kill black people based on this nondescript bullshit as a way to make content and stir up garbage on YouTube for views and for money to specifically target this against an entirely other person who is also white! By the way, <laughs> oh god, it, oh, it, it's one of those things where I'm, this is this is just something that I because I, I I hazard to like how uh, Winter was talking about earlier how you guys mentioned of as a content creator anyone who speaks on any platform you always have to be aware because you know yes. you never know what individual person you can influence uh, and maybe you, don't you know, know who's what listening. you're talking. Right. Maybe you know yeah. what you're talking about and, and in your community you're used to speaking kind of general, which is what I do. So I hazard to sometimes talk about stuff, but let's just put it in plain facts. Especially in America, there's a lot of white people who just want to be the victim because it's now shifted over that we're like, oh, all these things were wrong. Let's do right by these people. And instead of being like, it's not how they play it like it is. It's like white people under attack. It's not. It's just that we're fucking ignoring you like with everything. Like, no, we don't care. Right. It's like, you keep telling me and complaining about this, that, whatever, shut up, dude. We don't care. Look at all this stuff that happens to other people. Look at all the stuff that happens to women. Look at all the stuff that happens to black people, trans people, da, da, da. We need to work, focus on that. And instead of, because the attention is, like children, the attention is taken off of them. I'm, oh, what yeah. if I was black? Who, they feel what like if you they're were? losing. Yeah. yeah, you're losing on the attention. It's, it's ego-based. It's all ego. And it's, truth be told, in America especially, White culture is built on bullshit and lies and the destruction oh, yeah. of other people, mostly brown people. And your denial of that and like your feeling that you're like you've had it bad. It's like, OK, dog, since the beginning of the history of this particular country that I live in, where Steve lives in, it ain't really been all that bad. And it, by common understanding, if you're a white person and a failure, you're the reason you are because you had a, you were afforded every opportunity simply by being born white. Mm -hmm. And the acknowledgement of that and the fact that they are just privileged to have a um, you get a mulligan, you get a mulligan as a white person in America, which you don't get in any other thing. Like, it you, feels you, you like it's it, it, it feels if like I may add on to that. Yeah, go, go ahead. Go ahead. So I when we used to stream with Steve, right, and we used to talk about such issues, mm -hmm. I used to admit that because of the community I'm born in, born in, I have certain privileges that don't uh, that other communities don't have. One of them mm -hmm. is trust. If I go to an office to file papers and stuff, or if I go to a bank, as soon as they see my name and this, even my complexion, because I am kind of fair as compared to most, you know, they they will they they treat you very differently. And there's another gentleman who's standing by me whose name is very different, and his skin color is very different, and he might be from another region of the country. And they're treated like garbage. They're not taken seriously. They're made to wait. I get, I get priority. You know, um, I get priority. Well, and sometimes I have to step back a, and say, "Please go system. ahead." They, yeah, 
I said, I say, please go ahead. And the and the manager goes like, no, 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 you come. I'm like, no, no, sir. He was here first. I have to do that because I ha- I know I I'm privileged. Back you recognize home. your privilege and you allow somebody yeah, to take I know the my step privilege. ahead of you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, so that's why. And Manya doing that like, is what turns it from being malicious. Like Manya could be malicious about it and be like, you can't skip me because just because da 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 da. Instead, it's go okay. I acknowledge I have a ups on someone here as a man, right? Like even as a as a black man, I sure. acknowledge the fact that on a Tinder date, I got the ups on this one. Other than the woman being able to say no. In terms of other anything else, it's like I'm kind of the one that's on the ups here. Like if I'm if depending on the scenario, ten, nine times out of ten. So instead of being an ass about it, I'm just like, I'm going to listen to what she's talking about and yada, yada. Like, or even at work, being a man in work where you get more respected, you know, it's like, I acknowledge I have the ups. Patience have to, has to do with it. You have to be patient and generally yes. kind and a well-intentioned and honest person to sit down and just yes. listen to what, whether or not you think they're valid, you have mm. to listen to them to see and assess if whether or not they're valid in the first place. You can't just genetic fallacy your way into, well, this is the person who's saying it, therefore I can dismiss them without having actually seen what they had to say. Right. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, well, that's, once again, we go back to kids. That's a conversation you, kids try to steamroll you with what they feel about something or what they think they know. And it's like, well, you haven't been alive that long. You know what you're talking about. Listen to what sure. I'm telling you. But right. it's, it, it does. It's, and also why a lot of people don't like kids because they don't truthfully they truthfully don't have a ton of patience for it, which is fine. You don't have to have sure. a ton of patience for it. Even in like yeah. conversation like like I clearly don't have a ton of patience for a lot of like the stupid shit that gets said on the internet. Instead of losing my yeah. mind every two seconds, I just stop going on the internet. I just go and look up ki- pictures of cats and like go and do like touch hey, grass, play you take basketball. A break, like, you have a hobby, you do other shit. Yeah, well, like you, I, you what know what? Making, us to do? Okay, get a life. Oh, I'm yeah, sorry. Okay. You mean like making content that is outside of this very, very niche and very, very specific sphere? Instead of talking about the overarching issues, where you can talk oh, about right. YouTube, or you can talk about the social construct of creator versus uh, viewer versus viewer, like yeah. how you whip da 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 da, etc. etc. What that would require. Once again, self awareness, growth as a human being. All these things are self awareness. Once again, honesty. yeah, self awareness is the big thing. Honesty. All these things are. It, it's maybe it's it's something I'll, I'll attribute to not not even just psychology, but teaching, teaching especially. You learn a lot about your level of patience, what you can and can't deal with, what kind of how to interact with certain types of people, because you'll find that there's a lot of overlap in how kids interact with one another and how certain adults, because they grow up to be the same way depending on how they're nurtured. And so whether or not they're good or bad is is relative to how they get nurtured or quote unquote good or they're good or bad adults because there's no such thing as a bad kid. There's just bad parents. And so or bad caretakers, I'll say. But it's it's one of those things where the the problem is that you can't from jump you're already playing off of on the wrong playing field we're on flat surface we're on final destination and smash brawl like you're over mm-hmm. here in this man-made spike pit where every time you fall off the side and i throw a pokeball at you, you just bounce it between spikes like you're lost yeah. you're lost in the sauce and our our base level is reality and you're literally just not on it and i can say it in so many words like I, like I said with the Vic Mignogna stuff. No, we need to talk about reality. Here's what the reality is at its simplest form. Vic's kind of a weird sex pervert, and that's it. That could just be the end of it, and we could move on and not even really talk about him and just say, hey, I don't want this dude at my con. No. Instead, it's got to be like, well, so-and-so is this and that and this level. And that's a, it's like, no, that's not what we're talking about. Bring it back down to reality here on Earth where we're talking about this thing. And it can just never be that with People, yeah. like it's, you can it's, literally have a conversation about Katie Joy and say, hey, Katie Joy is bad because of X, Y, and Z, and talk about why those things are bad and the consequences of those things, instead of being like, this other person is a, is a fucking crazy psychopath, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, you've lost the plot. You've lost the plot. Right. You're gone and lost in the sauce. It's, it's always and, uh, the, the, sorry, go ahead. And also, like, recognize that your feelings do not translate into legal issues or law. Your feelings will not do that. 
all the time. Oh, into the You need books. evidence for that. Yeah. That's if you want a reality check, just think about oh, what I'm saying will it hold up in court? Just think about that. And then that might give you a, a reality check. Okay, okay, what am I thinking? Why am I thinking like this? Especially even... when you're thinking that someone's harassing you. I, I mean, Just here's saying, the thing, I was... though. I, I agree, but mm -hmm. the problem is, once again, I, I agree with everything you're saying because that's how I think of things. Like, right? Like, where if, if someone was having to be completely unbiased and logically judge mm -hmm. what I'm saying or doing, what would they think of it? But the problem is, is people aren't thinking like that. They're just thinking right. I'm right or they're be they're playing defense. They're being defended. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. I'm not guilty. I don't hate trans people. I don't, that guy, you know. that person is not a person anymore. The the dehumanizing right. factor of us versus them. And I feel like mm. once as soon as you get stuck in the, the us versus them, you get stuck in you you are not going to move forward because you are not willing to understand the other person because you're no longer viewing them as a person. Uh, like it's, yeah. it's important to reach people on their level and that's one of the yeah. things that benefited me i learned in teaching is you have to like you just got to remember it's like well i'm talking to like a dumb kid uh but if you're not willing to just step back and be like okay everything that this person is thinking is not going to be what i'm thinking regardless of how rational you feel they are because like a yeah. kid, kids are sharp sharp-witted you sometimes they're thinking way more rational than and more coldly and logical than you are but you oh, think yeah. what they're saying is just weird oh, yeah. and stupid but you all these people have to take that step back from themselves. It's, it, it, you have to point that high power mirror of perception back at yourself. No matter what you're saying, no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're thinking, because if you don't, you fall victim to being lost in the sauce. Because if your opinion on it is, I'm saying this because I feel I'm right and that's all that matters, nothing else matters and you're already coming at it from the wrong perspective. I'm saying this because I think I'm right but I'm not opposed to the idea that I could be wrong or can someone present to me how I could be wrong or how my opinion on this could be wrong or any, like you should or even be a nuance things. of being more correct or a Is way there, of yeah. coming to the same conclusion from a different angle. Right. It, it's, it's, it's show me how you did your math, but nobody's, everyone's yeah. just putting numbers on paper and you can't do that because it's like, yeah. I, you, you do it in the SATs or whatever the hell it's like, well, you have to show your work or whatever high school degree you have to show yeah. your work. I used to always you think get, that shit was stupid. Get, yeah, you get grades but for it, doing your work, not what the final answer is. <laughs> exactly. And uh, hindsight being 2020, I wish I had thought about that. But I used to always be like, well, I got the answer because they I'm don't not do a very idiot. good job of explaining that. <laughs> well, they don't. Yeah. But it's yeah. also like, I know the answer because I'm not a complete psychopath. And I'm just like, yeah, this makes sense. But other people are just like, yeah, it's two plus two equals fish. I got this how I got fish. Look at my math. My math is right, too. And it's like, no, you just wrote two plus two and then put equal fish. That's not how that works at all. Right. All right, I'm going to let Generic go. Thank saying? you so much. Generic's yeah. going to be joining us tomorrow, yes? Yay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so if you want more Generic and you want to hear more about what Generic has to say, please join us tomorrow for the tavern with Landon at least. I don't know if, if Manya or Dapper are going to be there, but we'll find that out later. So make sure to subscribe yeah. and all that shit and set alerts and stuff, so make sure you catch more of him. Thank you so much, Generic. Make sure to, like, tag your shit if you're making shit. And I'll make sure it goes through. English. <laughs> Tag your shit if you're making shit. All right, everyone. English doesn't <laughs> care about what words are. Oh, side note. I've been no. trying to learn Celsius. Impossible. I don't know what the hell you people are oh, on with on. Celsius. I was, ah, I've been petitioning oh, to get to Canada. On. I've been petitioning to get to Canada. And I'm like, I switched my phone temperature to Celsius. And I was like, I'm going to start learning this. Shibrish. America education system sucks. I just want to throw that out there. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you so much, Generic. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, God. That, what a sweetheart. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was some salient points, though. Manya, as a viewer, yeah. what do you do to get out of this, like, drama cycle? Because we've talked about what creators are responsible and what they should do. But what, as a viewer, what responsibility do you have? My responsibility is if I really do believe in a creator, I question them. I will question them. And I will ask the necessary questions that are needed for clarification about a situation. Mm -hmm. The perfect example is the Edward guy and what was the other person's name? Um, the lady. No rain. Shit on by. No rain. They believed in the person, and we saw in the comments also that person said, "Oh, I thought you're Steve's friend, so you would be reasonable, and that's why I presented my point." Mm -hmm. That's what really, really good viewers do. One, they're not afraid. They're not afraid of getting blocked or anything like that, but. 
you ought to let it go also because it's just intimate if you get blocked by a creator that you don't that you like and they chat on you or something like that let it go you'll find some another creator creator that you can you know um recognize that that you can you know follow you other fish in the seeing viewers right now <laughs> <laughs> so it's 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 twofold one be ready to let it go and two if you really believe in your creator do question them it's okay to question it should be okay to question your creator or to correct them the same this is, that, that's that's what I would do. And if your creator refuses to answer your clarifying questions, you can give them time. You know, listen, I'll give you some time. Get out of this shit, and then they'll come back and talk about it. But if they still continue to avoid your questions, then you got to start, you know, thinking that do I really want to support someone like that? Just saying. And and just and you don't have to like declare, oh, I don't follow them. I did that like kind of with Steve because I was involved in the mod call and stuff. I was here on a platform. But as a viewer, you don't have to declare that, oh no, I, I'm not going to follow you, blah, blah, blah. Just, just leave it. Just go. Just go to no, another space. It's okay. Don't build parasocial relationships with your um, um, with, 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 with your um, creators that you're trying to support. There, there's a difference, though, between parasocial and between real friendships. There's a very big difference, let me just say. So, um, yeah, you need, to, you need to be able to differentiate between that. Sar says, as a um, as a uh, as a viewer, I just stop watching garbage if I if I really feel bad and never feel good. Though that can be hard with the sunk cost fallacy, and I think that's a really good point. When you feel like you've invested so much money or you've invested so much time in some kind of drama, and you want some kind of closure, or you want some kind of um, end point. The thing is, is when you get stuck in the cycle, there is no closure. There is no end point. People aren't, like, whether or not somebody ends up successfully taking Katie Joy to court or not over some bullshit is, and is going to be a whole new situation than whatever situation you are currently... Fallacy, yeah. Right, something that, that you're dealing with right now, because if any of those things were going to come to fruition, they would have by now. So it'll be a new thing. So you don't have to involve yourself. You just what? Like you could just wait and like if it comes across your timeline again, you can check in on it in like three months from now. And if nothing's changed three yeah. months from now, you can if you look back at like Aaron and Steve and Nikki and Veda's content Veda. from three months ago, is it the same content? Is it the same yeah. thing? So in what way are you getting any new content, or are you just stuck watching the same thing over and over again without any progression? And then you wonder why you get you hit a plateau after some time, right? Like and and also that, that's what my thing was that be careful of getting caught by the sunken cost fallacy, and be ready to let it go. That's very essential if you want a healthy. Um, life as a viewer, especially mentally healthy life as a viewer. Be ready. Well, your content's not going to go it anywhere it. if you feel like you missed something because when you check back in three months ago, oh, something God. seems to have changed. You can always go back and check. <sighs> yeah. And that thing also, and, and this thing of like, oh, I'm going to miss, the fear of missing out. Get over it. It's just mm -hmm. internet. It's not affecting your life. If you're not present while you and you didn't witness something happening, it um it's it's not like it's not the end of the end of the world. Look after yourself, man. You are you should be the priority in your life, as, uh, not the other creators that you're you're following. This, this Content is, is supposed to be enjoyed. If you're not enjoying exactly. it and it's keeping you here and you're finding yourself snapping at people on the internet for whatever content, mm -hmm. if you're finding yourself using vitriolic language that you don't think you would have used even like a couple of months ago, if even if you think you would have, you can check. You can go and look at your content or what you've commented or what you've said if you've noticed your language just escalating then you can you can be like hey listen i used to be against this kind of stuff what the fuck happened to me it it takes like and, and when you get steeped in it sometimes it's really 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 hard to recognize so it's that it's that check yourself before you wreck yourself go and take a look at how you're behaving a year ago or look at what you're saying you don't think people should behave like just like objectively whether or not you apply it to yourself and then 
apply it to yourself and say, hey, am I behaving this way? Am I doing this thing? Am I letting this creator suck me into their bullshit so they can, like, vampire their way out of my time, my money, my, my, my energy, uh, the, the viewership, the energy, my life is being absorbed by this one fucking person or this handful of people that are all fucking intertwined into a giant ball of fuck. <laughs> Manya, what can you, what can YouTube do? I have an idea of how YouTube could, might be able to fix their algorithm in a way that doesn't encourage <sighs> this kind of like because like again you make money off of drama you use money to make more drama to make off to make money off of drama to make more drama off of the money i think don't so wreck your life do is like no ruin yeah. your relationships they need to i can speak to that they need to i've put had that happen i've had somebody that i was in a relationship let the relationship go to shit because they got too fucking involved with making garbage bullshit content because they were so obsessed with somebody who was purposefully trying to troll them to wreck their life. And they just let that person ruin their real life relationships over it. Oh, wow. Holy shit. That's yeah. sad. I've seen um, it happen. I think so. Um, YouTube should put a cap on like how long someone should get an exposure for a certain topic. Like, if you're constantly, like, just pushing out the same bullshit, you know, but, you know, there needs to be a cap on it. Okay, after this many videos or after... Take a break. I don't know, these yeah. many hours. Yeah, you know, just just don't stop. Bring it down. Bring their... Uh, tell the algorithm to suggest something else to them. Yep. Or to The internet is what you make out of it. You can control that to a degree. Yeah. If you don't want to see yeah, you it, can. you're seeing it because you're looking at it. Yeah. And that's what I did, um, have done a few times. I have gone and unsubscribed from, like, when shit has been, like, overwhelming. I have taken breaks. I've gone and unsubscribed from all the things. I started putting videos that I wanted to if watch If you have a content watch creator, later. if there's a content creator that's telling you you're wrong for taking a break or being like, hey, I haven't oh, seen God. you for a while, where the fuck have you been, in a negative connotation... That is a toxic mm. fucking creator. If if a content creator tries yeah. to make you feel bad for not engaging with their content, they're an asshole. Yeah. So yeah, so, and that's what I used to do. I used to, like, start putting the videos that I would have watched immediately. Oh, you know, the fear of missing out. I started pushing them to watch later. And before I knew it, within two days, my feed was in something very different. Entirely yeah. different. So, yeah, so I think so YouTube should, uh, YouTube knows that, that it, could, it can do that. It just don't do it because it's like, it's not, con it it's not care. profitable for them. Right. Yeah. It's, the, it's not their job to curate your experience. It's your job to curate your experience. Exactly. Um, Winter uh, for five said, uh, one, quote, one word that matters for your well-being most introspection. Yeah. If you can like yeah. take a step back, if you're fine and you're getting wind up, or if you're like, even if you're not sure, just take a break. Just take a break and, and yeah. like reset your head and give it a shake. Sometimes like as a as a viewer, you don't have the same kind of responsibility that a, as a creator is does. So you don't have to go around and like apologize for every fucking thing you have to eat. That, that kind of burden is not on you. All you have to do is fucking stop and just be like, you know what? And I'm not going to talk about this anymore. And if collectively... Aaron and Steve and Veda and Nikki all collectively was like, we're not going to talk about Katie Joy at all for a year. And they committed to that. And then they said, tell you what, once every six months, we're going to do a Katie Joy update video where we omnibus mm. and all of us make like one video and it's like two hours long where we talk about everything that Katie Joy has been up to for the year, whether or not there's been new stuff or it's the same shit, whatever. It gets there content like it gets their content back on track it gets their like oh i want to make philosophy and science videos back on track because now you're putting a limiter on yourself you're having some self-control and it mm -hmm. stops and breaks the cycle for your audience who are telling you that they want this to stop that this is exasperating that they're tired and they it's this exhausting is escalating too much they're worried that they're going to get to be the next one on the chopping block yeah. And also, the, the, another indication is that you might need a break is when you feel the need to defend your creators. 
You feel yep. the need that you need to go on someone else's video and you need to defend them. Your creators are perfectly um, able to defend themselves. They should be able to defend themselves if they believe yep. in their arguments and stuff. You shouldn't yep. have to clarify or modify their argument. Don't speak, for, don't else, speak um, for them. If somebody say, if you say, yeah, hey, this, this is what this person said, and you say, well, actually they misspoke or actually this, did they say that? Because if they didn't say that, and you can't link to where they said that, you should not be doing that. Mm. Because that's not your responsibility. That's not your job. That's not your burden. That's their burden. That's not you. That's not on you. Yeah. They put it out there. They can defend it. Right. You you shouldn't have to. You are there to consume and enjoy the content, not become a yep. part of it. Right. Right. So. Yeah, and th that's also another reason that when I was actually relieved when we moved away from Steve. Oh yeah, I'll personally. I'll, we've I'll, gotten I'll, we've I'll, done I'll, it before. But... We're speaking from experience. Me and Manya used yes. to be wrapped up in all this shit. You don't see that kind of behavior in our content. You don't see this kind of behavior from our audiences. You don't see us engaging in this petty bullshit. What you see is me making a fifteen minute video. Having a fucking guffaw at this ridiculous nonsense, which has happened what one time in two years, where we and then we mm -hmm. bring it back and we talk about the issues. Yeah, and that's what this today's dumb fake Friday was. It's a it's a little different from it's our to usual wrap dumb fake Fridays. We just yeah, yeah, it's to wrap it up, and 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 they can keep on doing whatever they want to. Oh yeah, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> my advice is to them. My advice is to them. Is you're in legal trouble now. So maybe mm -hmm. just take a pause, take a break. Mm -hmm. All right. And also, I'll say this: when I when we used to get caught up in Steve's shit, that was the time I that I took breaks most number of times. Mm -hmm. I used to say, come in and say, listen, I need a break. I'm out of here, and I would disappear. Yep. I don't surprise. I don't know why. Yeah. And I, I almost do, straight I, up, I, I Mari almost myself. left the Discord, and I was like, "Please don't." <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I was and, like, "Don't leave, don't leave I the Discord." Myself. I mean, like, I understand you're stressed out, but like, you'll, you'll just, you don't have to participate. Don't leave. You'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, and um, and and yeah, it's it's like, I know myself. All right, I I can be reactionary sometimes. I know myself, right? And when we used to be Steve, Steve used to like egg that on so much. And when we separated, I was like, like, oh my fucking lord, I don't have to do this anymore. <laughs> I shouldn't have well, to do would, this anymore. Well, you would come to me and you would say, hey, this thing, and I'd be like, don't worry about it. It's not, don't worry yeah. about it. And I was like, leave, okay. Like, leave it alone. I'm like, yeah. That's what listen. good friends do. Yeah. That's what good friends do. They listen and they ask and they share info and they keep the dirty laundry behind the doors. They don't put it out to the public for for to then take it away and and you know there are times toilet roll. right there are times when stuff that's happened in private needs to go public there are times when yes, that, there are that times. happens yes. but like relationships yes. and people are messy so if me and mania get into an argument about something you know what doesn't it, it doesn't turn into a, a, a fucking bunch of videos talking shit on each other because it doesn't need to do that I didn't make a bunch of videos talking shit on Steve. What I did was I made videos looking at what Steve had to say about something and then dissecting yeah. and analyzing the topic and what that said and why it mattered because it didn't matter that it was Steve. It mattered that what he was saying was problematic and here was why. And that is in, that is and, an important distinction. And and based on building on that, I would say this. Um, if you're filing a TRO or an RO, I can understand why. It's not a joke, right? It's not a yep. joke. Yep. But please make sure you have at least one round of legal advice before you do that. Just see what are the mm -hmm. possibilities, what options you have. Please do that. It's for your own good. And if a couple of lawyers, t I know it will be like a, like $500, $700 because lawyers charge like massive fee or like fee per hour or per case or something like that but i mm -hmm. guarantee you that will be money well spent well yep i guarantee you that it 
so you don't end up looking like an idiot in front of the judge right. and then you have to justify it um with some bullshit the court yeah no and, and mr sears is right the court system isn't a toy the court system isn't there to give you content the court system isn't there to yeah. be abused so that way you can pretend that you're making content about shit that gets dismissed the same day the yeah. same day and if you had gone to a lawyer before you decided to like go to the court and release your you know paperwork the same day you would have known this is not going to work and you would not have done any of this yep any of this and you know what it would have saved you all the anguish all the worry you know all the stress mm -hmm. and the fact that you now feel that you have to defend yourself by coming up with scenarios or coming up with, up with explanations that have no evidence or or, or basis the first so, thing you and, ought to do is is make sure that whatever you're saying is not immediately and inherently fallacious. If your best yeah. point is whataboutism, where it's like, you did this, at least they didn't do that. Or if your argument is, they did this, or I did this, but they did that, you don't have a point. It's fallacious on its face. And if it's fallacious yeah. on its face, you're not going to get anywhere. There is no value in participating in that discussion because it's already- Your premise is wrong. Your premise is already thrown out the fucking window. Yeah. And this is- simple, the, and the, As concept. much as like, I would not expect this level from like your average like drama content, the majority of mm -hmm. drama content does have a standard. It does have an expectation. Uh, and they yes. might not be stated, but there's a general guideline. Like, you expect yeah. seats, for example. Yes. You expect yes. people to be able to be like, look, this is what the person said. Here's where they said it. Here's exactly how it goes. And then you discuss. But this is, again, yes. this is Steve we're talking about. Steve has set a higher expectation based on his history, based on prior content, based on what he says he does. There are two things that you can do. Either you yep. can go the Katie Joy way and just keep putting out bullshit, you know, at her numbers, maybe she can afford to do that at this time. But mm -hmm. we know she plateaus from time to time, right? And then she has to do something dramatic drastic to get the audience's attention back or you can look at a steve's history at the standard that he set and we set around evidence and receipts and and proof and how to verify them how you can verify what we it's do will save you a lot of anguish let me just tell yeah, you yeah it's interesting that even if you tell these people's viewers they're so at they're so high they're so wired that if you say, maybe you should take a break from this, and that's an attack. Yeah, they think that- uh, Maybe, they, they maybe being, for um, your own health and your own safety and your own, like, heart issues. Take a step back, maybe you're too, you're, you're too wired on this. That's not to say that the, the content isn't important. It's not to say that, like, calling out somebody's bullshit is not valuable or not important. What it is to yeah. say that yeah. you have drank too much Kool-Aid and maybe you should drink some water. For a little bit. Yeah. All right. And, yeah. yeah, and and just one last thing. If you start getting cease and desist, sh please, please shut up. Drop it. Drop it. You <sighs> don't want to dare someone Unless you're to ready for that you. fucking fight. Unless you're yeah. prepared for Unless that they, shit. You have the money? You have you the have money? Go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Lawyer, money for it? Go for it. If not, shut it down. Shut it down. Don't do this to yourself. You owe yourself this financial stability and financial well-being. Mm -hmm. Because that stems your mental well-being. Mm -hmm. It's just that simple, man. Also, just it might simple. do you a bit of good if you want to understand who's getting what in what chat for what memberships that you have an understanding about how that functions. Because if you don't have an understanding about how that functions, you're going to make yourself look like a dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, All um, right. Yeah. Uh, any last yeah, thoughts, Manya? That, um, I'm just gonna say we are wrapping this up. Um, the second yeah. part will release on Nikki Monday. didn't come by! Yeah, we'll what the fuck? Yeah, I'm so disappointed. I'm so sad. Yeah. 
I know oh, we do, what a we, shame. We do talk tough. We do I could have. I we do. Could have been fucking embarrassed and and like just shown to be completely wrong on my own goddamn platform. Fucking ooh, too bad. I I okay yeah um I maybe maybe um Nikki needs someone to um back her up all the times so or she needs to um jump on somebody's shoulder in order to reach a certain height. So I'm not going to blame her. Um, yeah. Um. Good luck. <laughs> RNG game luck. and wanted to give one more piece of advice. Also, do not say you're tracking someone's IP and know their location because you look like a complete idiot. <laughs> yeah, Check that's yourself. what I say. Drop Before it. Before you wreck yourself, get a lawyer. Yeah, uh, get a I've lawyer. I've been pwned. I've been Drop defeated. It. I've uh, my hair <laughs> is ruined. Oh god! Uh, yeah, yeah. I no! made the mistake of reshaving it when I could have easily just, you know, let it grow Growing out again. It. Oh mm. man! All right, all right. Let's get on out of here. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much to Winter and Jeanette is that Austin for Autistic us. Shale in the live chat? Yes, it is Autistic Hi. Shale. Oh, okay, cool. Hey, thanks for coming back. Um, we're gonna get on here. Thank you again. Yeah. Imagine having professionals and people who have experience in the fields that we're talking about coming in and talking to us. Join us, like and subscribe, join us tomorrow. Um, this will be only available on YouTube, so if you are on Twitch, this is something that's going to be available on YouTube. Um, this is gonna happen tomorrow, it is gonna have generic minority. We're going to be talking about the, uh, about t teaching history in America and some of the changes that Florida's trying to bring forward. I'd have to actually, I'm gonna have to double check about where they're actually at and how successful they've been about that. But we're gonna talk about all that. Landon will be joining us for that, so we all love Landon Yay. here. So Landon's gonna be joining yes. us. Monia and Dapper may or may not be joining us. I'm not 100% sure yeah. I'm gonna get. Yeah, oh, what, what, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Mani is not coming. Mani is busy. And look forward oh, come to on, I mean <laughs> I, I winter's back. So winter being back means sounds like we're gonna be talking about philosophy of pride Mani, I have some of it. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, That's why I'm wearing the <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much everybody. We're gonna get on out of here. I hope you enjoyed this very special dumb feck. Friday. And my last advice Friday. is that if if YouTube wants to fix this and wants to do things to change the direction of their platform to make it less toxic, you don't take anything away from anybody. You don't remove content creators from the algorithm. What you do is you push different things in the algorithm. Animations yeah. or educational content. Variety. Content that is that type of con. That's the stuff you just enable in instead of disabling. Thank you very much for joining us. We're yeah. going to get on out of here. Have a good night, everybody. Say goodbye, Manya. Bye-bye. Hello. Welcome back to Dumb Don't Fact Friday. Dumb Fact Friday. Dumb Fact Friday. It's going to be fun. Mm.